triage sessions in like five days. Oh yeah, that's coming out in five days, yeah. isn't it? I don't know if I got. I don't know if I can make time for that one. I got the time. I just fake fan. Fake fan. Yeah. I mean, I already beat yeah. the game though, so Fucking... like, what you mean? <laughs> someone, someone on my Twitter actually said he was gonna. He said he'd provide me with a code. So. Oh nice. I know. Counting on that. Uh oh. But I'm also, I'm also uh. gonna see if I can get a review copy, mm -hmm. even though that's probably not gonna happen. I forgot about those SNES games I played. Oh, this this list just got even bigger. I, about those I said you you really don't. I feel like Riku Riku beats 100 games a year, bro. This man. No, it's definitely not. Someone someone in my community in the comments oh it said they beat like literally like 80 games last year, and that's like all they do Ridiculous. every day. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> what How? Were they? Uh, I, I don't back, know. They didn't I say. Back but... in the day that I used to do that for platinums, but I don't do that shit no more. Like two hour games. Hey, yeah, I, I think they said that they were in the Platinum <laughs> games, and that was kind of part of it. Yeah, let me see. Oh, man, you can't, um, can't bring up the chat this way? Okay, not a big, not a big deal. Not a big deal. All right, we are. I believe we are live. I believe everything is working correctly. And we out here. So, welcome to HPMP, the JRPG podcast, episode 38. First podcast of the brand new spanking year of 2020. And we're going to jump into this with the intros. So, uh, Gab, go ahead and introduce yourself and uh, tell everybody where they can find you. Hey guys, it's Gab. Welcome to the new year. You can find me at youtube.com slash C slash Gabmu and pretty much anywhere else says Gabmu. Okay. Uh, Blake? Oh, shoot, I have to see my mouth. <laughs> it is that time. <laughs> What's going on, guys? It's me, West Town HD, wishing you guys all a happy new year. Same thing, you can find me anywhere, West Town HD. That fanfiction account is not mine. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> uh, Ba? Hey, guys, Bowser Carriga here. Hope you're all having a good new year. You guys can find me on YouTube at Bowser Carriga and Twitter and Twitch at Real Bowser Carriga. Uh, Riku? Young Riku Sun One is here. What's good, everyone? Happy new year, 2020. Hachimai Nakizuki. And uh, I'm here for some JRPG news and goodness. What's everybody doing? Alrighty, alrighty. Our two guests. First up, we got Niarly. What's up, guys? It is Niarly. You can find me on YouTube.com slash C slash Niarly and on Twitter at crawling underscore Niarly. Alright, and Jammer. What up? I'm here to start some conversation and cause some problems. You can find me at youtube.com slash jammer and on Twitter, I jammer. Cause some problems. All right, we're going to get into that. We're definitely going to get into that. <laughs> All right. Okay. So um, I believe, like, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I'm pretty sure Riku and Gab, you guys got like a dick measuring contest when it comes to who beat the most games i don't know <laughs> i could tell you i i ain't really track what i beat in 2019 so if you guys want to read off your list I, I i'm letting you guys do that right now yeah uh, let me let uh, me make sure that i beat chrono trigger last year i can't remember if that was last year or the year before last so if gabby wants to go first she uh she has the floor i gas probably not around <laughs> you hate to see it Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, read off mine, and then I'll go and check my Twitter shit yeah. to see if uh, Chrono Trigger counts or not. But um, what I have here is this, this isn't in order. This is just it by you know, if I remembered it, I threw it in there. So uh, one Geometry Wars, two Shovel Knight, three Borderlands, three, four that Legend of Heroes Zero No Kisaki. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. So that, was, that was said that was four, right? Five is Aono Kisaki. Six is Sen Three. Seven is Muramasa Rebirth. Is God Eater Resurrection. Nine is Chasm. Ten is God of War. Uh, Eleven is God of War Two. These are the Vita versions of the game. Uh, Twelve is Sekiro. Thirteen is Jack One. Fourteen is Jack Two. <laughs> And 15 is Jack 3. These are all the Vita versions. 16 is Dead Nation. 17 is Fast Striker. 
18 is slide 1, 19 is slide 2, 20 is slide 3, Vita versions. 21 is Tearaway. 22 is Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology. Mm, good one. 23 is San- Salt and Sanctuary. 24 is Ratchet 1. 25 is Ratchet 2. 26 is Ratchet 3, Vita versions. 27 is Kingdom Hearts 3. 28 is Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed. Mm. 29 is Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Mm. 30 is Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. 31 is Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix. Uh, does a fragmentary passage count as a game? Fuck no. I don't count that shit. That's like two. That's like an hour and a half of a game? Nah. That don't count. Yo, count. Does, it, does anybody <laughs> here? Still, count. still counts. Still counts. <laughs> oh, all right. It's fine. Still. <laughs> Plus, it if counts. you watch the movie. <laughs> All right, no, I'm I'm adding that. I guess that's a fragmentary passage. I guess that would be forty two if we count Chrono Trigger. Well, Gab, it looks like you just got out it. Shit. So <laughs> so I beat thirty this year, if anyone was wondering. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna you're gonna name them uh after I'm done. We were waiting for you. What? I don't wanna I don't wanna name them. <laughs> oh well shit. <laughs> she probably got some, she, that, she probably got some. That, that'd be a long ass list. list. Name uh, the best 32. I'm, I'm naming mine right now. 32 Rayman Legends, 33 Xenogears, 34 Donkey Kong Country, 35 Donkey Kong Country 2, 36 Donkey Kong Country 3, 37 Donkey Kong. No, wait, how many Donkey are there? Kong. It's yeah, 40. What? It's 40? Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, about to I'm gonna let Donkey you Kong live. Land 3. I didn't finish Donkey Kong Land 2 for some reason. Uh... 39 is Mario Land, and 40 is Mario Land 2. And I'm trying to figure out if I beat Chrono Trigger 2019 or 2018. I'm like figuring that out right now. And then apparently we counted frag- a fragmentary passage, so that would be 41, definitely. Now, 40 games, and you got and Gab, you did 30 games. Now, if I was saying like how many games I beat this year, I would have only counted games that came out in 2019. That That's the really? way I, 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 I would feel about it. Uh, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. I, 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 I would count all the ones that I beat because it could be the first. I count it if it's the first <laughs> time I'm playing that game or if I beat it all the way to the end to see the credits again. Hmm. Same. Wait, so we are the second one. Plays. But all of the games I beat yeah. last year, I think, I, were all I, games I beat for the first time. No, definitely My, I, would count, I would count, count replays if they are... Um, if you didn't like, let's say, oh, I beat the game twice. I don't count that twice. I wouldn't count that. If it, but if it's a game, let's say you beat on the PS One back when it first came out. Yeah, exactly. You, I would count you, it as beating it like years later. Yeah, if you absolutely don't remember anything about it, I, I want to play that game again. Like I beat Fire Emblem like four times. I didn't count that. Yeah, I would count that once. Yeah, but if you if you played, let's say you play Fire Emblem Awakening back when it first came out, and then you played it. This year, different route or something? Debatable. That's debatable. I definitely wouldn't count it personally against mine. Yeah. Okay. So I don't think we need to go through everybody else's beat. I think it was, <laughs> that was just for Gab and uh, Riku for the most part. You don't have to. Uh, so uh, let's let's start off with um, what everybody is currently playing at the moment. Uh, Niali, what, what, what are you playing right now, man? Well, right now, I'm in the middle of a Yakuza marathon. I just finished oh, wow. two, and I just recently started three. Okay. Um, and and if you're wondering which version of one and two I play, I played the originals. So is um Yakuza? Do you like it? Is it really good to you? Like, do you think it's yeah, like it's, it's great? I don't know. Like, about I, that. I, I'm, I'm not really I'm not really a big fan of like the wandering around, just doing a bunch of random stuff. But just I love the combat. I love the story, and I especially love the music. I don't know. I'm not about that Yakuza life. Oh, and in Yakuza, Yakuza 1, the the original version of Yakuza 1 is the best version because it has Mark Hamill as Goro Majima. Oh, really? Mark Hamill's I didn't know yes. that. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. I'm going to try I'm going to try to get um get to like a dragon sometime this year. I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to be getting yeah, like <coughs> a dragon. Like I am I'm very excited for that. All right. Uh so, what you out here playing, man? As I talked about earlier, I just got mm-hmm. done with uh, Enslaved Odyssey to the West. Uh, thanks again for interrupting my cutscene. Uh, also, <laughs> <laughs> getting back to um, Terrors of Cold Steel 3. I'm mm. um, going to put them hours back into that. Uh, and also, on the side, some Sengoku Basar 4. Oh, uh, yeah. Sumeragi. Hey, arguably the best one. 
Yes, screw Hideyoshi though, but yeah, that's how they play. Okay, all right, all right. Bob, what you out here playing? Uh, lately, I've mainly been occupied with Witcher 3. The show got me in the mood to go back to it. Um, I'm pretty much just playing that until Temtem comes out, honestly. It's like Temtem. the first big release of the Isn't year. There a beta? Where's the beta? What the I hell is this Temtem I'm hearing about? It's a Pokemon ripoff MMO. Hmm, yep. interesting. Okay. But from what I'm hearing, it's actually pretty good, though. Like, it looks really good. Really really it's pretty I'm unique, actually. It's like, it's obviously Pokemon inspired, but it has its own thing that makes it unique. Like an MP system. Oh, cool. And when you run out of MP, you can just sacrifice your HP to do moves. It's actually a bit strategic. So, um, so, so like, people hyping up this game. You think it's going to be, like, a uh, Pokemon contender? No. Contender, no. <laughs> In Wait, terms of, like, actual beta? quality, maybe, eventually. Oh, did you play the beta yeah. on the 11th? Yeah, I was in the stress test. How was it? Uh, besides the crashing, because it was a stress test. Other than that, it was fun. All right, Ben, I just signed up. Yeah, I swear, every time I ran into a random encounter, it, it, it just freeze. Okay, so it's really just in the bit of freeze. All right, got it. I'm going to try it out sometime. Uh, Blake, what you out here playing? Uh, so currently, right now, uh, I just finished uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Ew. Um, and uh, I paid $15 for it on a Ew. sale. And I I was pleased with the ending. I like the ending. Ew. I'm excited for Remind. <laughs> oh, man. Okay? Oh, Trying man. to remind you to oh, get back man. to your copy of the game. Oh, man. I, I don't um, have it. <laughs> oh, you don't? Really? I literally don't. I traded that thing in. No regrets. Bruh. I traded that Bruh. so fast. <laughs> That's crazy. Next I'm time coming back to Remind. Bucks, I'll shoot you a copy. I might low key get it back again. I, I don't know. It depends on how good that remind is. I'm about to pre order remind on Friday. I'm going to need it. Bro. <laughs> and also, Kingdom Hearts 3 made me realize that Aqua is tall as shit, bro. Axel is seven feet, and Terra is taller than both of them. So, what the hell is this game? Bro, yeah. like, th those are some tall humans. Um, and then I'm also right now playing Horizon Zero Dawn because. Uh, yeah, no, it, it's another game I picked up on sale. Uh, I think I got this game for nine dollars on Black Friday, and I got it with my PS4 Pro, and I really like it. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, Riku, what you playing? Um, recently finished that Legend of Dragon. Uh, from a turn-based JRPG standpoint, it is sitting at number four. So it's in my top five favorite turn-based JRPGs. Really? Oh yeah. Really? That game is so, that, I feel like that game is so dated. I can't play that. I need. I'm gonna need a remake or a remaster for that one. It, remember, I'm, I'm, remember, I'm down, down in the, in the slums playing all the old stuff. So dated to me is, you know, old games are the norm. When I go and play a new game, that feels, you know, abnormal to me. So, that's that's probably why. But yeah, it's sitting at number four right now, and. Uh, I was going to get back into Final Fantasy VIII, and then I was just like, mm, "Let's go play Alundra." So now I'm playing Alundra instead of Final Fantasy VIII. So <laughs> Fair enough. yes, just real quick, if you are typing, like try to keep the mic away from you or mute yourself. Yeah, mute yourself. Yep. Yeah, or you can do that. Uh, all right. Uh, who is next? Uh, Jammer, what you playing? I'm on Pokemon because I play competitive, so. I'm and waste a bunch of time making months and then risk of rain too i got it when it first came out on pc and then like they've had updates so i'm getting back into that and then uh, uh, you kind of bought out there is it just me or you i guys... agree too yeah you kind of for real? Out. just a little bit like yeah let's Hold see up. yeah now you sound fine now? yeah you sound fine now all right so did you get what i said yeah you playing pokemon competitively and then risk of rain too and then Monster Hunter World, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so wait, for Pokemon competitively, are you playing double battles or are you playing single? I do singles. I'm not a fan of VGC. I mean, I don't know. I just never care for VGC, even though I feel like it's getting even bigger now. Singles okay. is more fun to me. Okay, all right, all right. So maybe, maybe I might want to battle you just for the fun, or maybe we could put some money on this, bro. Ooh, Ooh I don't uh, know if you. I mean, hey, if you want to lose money, we're, we're, bro, I'm... he already he's already about to lose twenty bucks to me, bro. Ah oh, man, Blake, <laughs> you, you think so, Blake? I don't know, man. Bruh. I don't Bruh, know. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take like, that money. I'm gonna laugh. 
I test out my teams. I got some weird sets going on. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, all right. We'll maybe look into that later. But 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 <laughs> but, but uh, Blake, man, I I got a I got a um I got a little um challenge for you or a mm-hmm. request oh. or something. Oh, another one. Okay, go on. Go nah, on, making more money. No, nah, listen, <laughs> listen, like, cause like I don't know when we made that bet yesterday, you kind of mm-hmm. were like a little bit shaky there for a little bit. I don't know what you mean. Uh huh. I don't shake, bro. Okay. Never freeze. All right. All right, fair enough, because I was going to, like, let you go, provided you beat me in a Pokemon battle. In a po- bruh. Bruh. Mm. I know you're not. I know you don't think you can battle me mm. and take the W, bro. Oh, wow. Really? You think you're that good? Okay. We'll see. <laughs> Listen, Shadow, how long have you been playing Pokemon? Uh, For the longest time, like, for years. Wait, y'all had a one, like, a battle in-game? No, nah, no, nah, like we're gonna, we work, we are gonna battle if Blake wants to accept it, bro. I, See, bro, you're throwing down is, the gauntlet. I'm picking it up. I'm shining it. Let's go. <laughs> the problem is the battles are can only last. I think it's thirty minutes. So I literally had one battle, and we were just getting into it, and then the sh- it ended. Wait, they're thirty minutes for yeah, Sword bro. Shield. If, if if you do, if you do normal, just try to have a six on six battle. It's a thirty minute limit, Bruh, That's. X and Y it's, and seven were was, were sixty minutes, right? It was way better. Yeah, it was way better. That's what. Um, yeah, I think you could potentially do a three on three though, where you have six and then you each pick three. That might, that that'll also be better because it'll go faster. But uh, yeah, I don't. That's why I don't do it. I don't like try to challenge anybody because that's why nobody does it really because it's that it's all messed up. Okay. All right, Blake. We'll get to that a little bit later. We'll get to that a little bit later. Oh think, hell yeah. Uh, I think we went through everybody. Gab, did you say what you were playing? No, I didn't have the chance to. Um, Ma- I am currently playing Bloodborne. I'm like, I don't know. Hey. I'm in the healing church right now. I'm playing with a friend. Okay. All right. It's sounds- fun. I am just getting used to the controls of it. So it's a really tough game? Like, you know, like everybody's saying? Yeah, it's really tough. It's, it's also the yeah. best game. <clears throat> Who said mm. that? <laughs> it's like Victorian Dark Souls. It's really dark. I've owned it for a long time. Okay, it's, I'm not a fan of that, so I'm not even trying to play it. Bro, I feel like even if you're not a fan, you should still try because you might fall in love. I wasn't a fan of Dark Souls, and then I picked up Bloodborne, and I, I love Dark Souls. I don't oh. love Dark Souls. I don't like Dark Souls. I still only like. So Dark you're Souls. trying to say that Bloodborne is a good entry point? Hell Bloodborne yeah. is like a fast-paced version of the game where mm-hmm. there's no blocking. I would keep it real with you. If I um, like if I didn't play um. I, well, I'm kind of like playing Cold Vein off and on. But I can't play that game, not because right. like it's hard, just because like I'm just not that, all that interested. I don't right. think I can really play Bloodborne or anything like that or Dark Souls. That's Dark Souls Three, I find, is the best entry point because um, I found that to be the easiest to get through. The first one is really hard for the first time, even if you're playing with friends. It kind of sucks. Mm. Right. Interesting. Yeah. Question, Gabby. Yes. Uh, so you said your first Souls game was that got you into the the genre is Dark Souls Three? No, it's Dark Souls One. Oh, okay. So you played through Dark Souls One like fully? No, I didn't beat it yet. I got stuck at Ornstein Smoke. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> you should uh, if you say you like the fast paced uh, gameplay of a ne- uh, sorry, Bloodborne, you should test out Neo. Give that a try. Mm-hmm. Oh, I you, I actually owned Neo at one point. I just got rid of it. <laughs> Oof. Hate to see it. All right. So I'm currently playing. Well, I'm not really playing all that much right now. I'm kind of in between games, really. Did uh, you finish Star Ocean 2? Uh, actually, no. I Sorry, didn't. One. I should probably get back to that. I, Man, I everyone, I everyone I noticed that started that game, they dropped it. I didn't Fuck. technically drop I just stopped. Well, I guess you could say I dropped it, I guess. Technically. Uh... I'm playing Pokemon Sword, playing through it the second time, and I guess I'm going back to Nocturne. Bow, yo, bow, 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 bow. How you let me go through this, man? Do you see what this man Mont did to me? See, bow Ooh. plays the long game. It oh was my all god. <laughs> this game for years. That was gonna give you trouble. The chat told you what to do. But I knew they couldn't tell you what to do with Mott. I was just on you. It was yo. He's ridiculous. I, I'm. I'm probably. I'm gonna try to fight him after this and see if I can. Oh, beat you him. still haven't beaten him. Nah, I still didn't beat him. Oh, good. What do you mean, good? 
It means nah. I can turn into the next one and, you know, cheer you on. Oh, yeah. Cheer quote, unquote, cheer me on. Cheer I'll me say, on. I'm, I got you. You know about that. He ain't cheering for nothing. <laughs> Except uh, the, chat, the chat keeps telling me what to use. And I'm like, I'm going to keep with my current party because I'm pretty sure I can do it with my current, current party. We'll see what happens. I like to struggle. I like, I like to have a little bit of a challenge. I have to li- have fun, you know? Do you like Beast Eye? <laughs> oh god I, yo, I don't know why he was spamming that he kept spamming that attack and kept like he, he was like he was acting like uh like a, a a normal person like a normal ai or something like that or a player because he kept spamming that buffing himself up and he was going for the one shot but, yeah uh, he's notorious yeah, and, and he uses his mega goal on so it's not like you can give yourself resistances to it yeah I, but i had my like that that clip that i, that I threw up my um evasion was mad high so I kind of survived that, but like he didn't. Then he just—I think he did it again. I'm not sure. Who's bopping out like that? Jammer. So the <laughs> UFO coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the new UFO. Uh, Alienware. <laughs> uh, yeah, but um, I'm, I'm gonna get my revenge on mine. I'm gonna get my revenge soon. All right, so let's uh, let's go on to the first topic of the evening. We is we just in this. Let's start with the uh, Final Fantasy uh, remake. So, the game's demo seems to have dropped. Well, not dropped. It's in the store somewhere, and Square Enix just ain't releasing it or anything like that. I'm not sure. A lot of people got to go and play it, which was pretty, which is pretty, I guess, cool for them. I'm going to sit back, kick back, relax, and wait. Even though a lot of people, like, I think like two or three people slid into my DMs. It was like, Shadow, I, I got the link so you can play the game. I was like, ah, I'm good. Don't worry about that. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, so do you guys think that um, Square Enix is going to release this anytime soon? Oh, uh, we already got a release date for us the day the game comes out. I heard that wasn't accurate. I heard really? that was... Yeah, yeah, that was, it was a, yeah, it was fake. It wasn't right. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure okay. the, the artist, writer, or somebody from that website came and was like, nah, he made a mistake. Okay, so yeah. They, they should just drop this really soon. I don't know why they, why they wouldn't. It's already up there. You're obviously going to unlock it. So just unlock it so we all can play it. It's going to yeah, sell no matter full what. playthroughs of it on freaking YouTube. Yeah. <clears throat> um, you know what's crazy is one YouTuber. Uh, his name is uh, Dreamcast Guy. He got it. He he happened to play it. And like he made a video about it. And the video is getting like bombarded with dislikes. It's hilarious. Why is I that? would expect the opposite. That because like he pirated it. That's basically what they're saying. Oh. That's that was what they were saying. So it's like okay, I guess I can see what you guys are saying. But like you know, me being a YouTuber, I could understand where he's coming from. Cause like you know, early bird gets the worm. You the first one out with it. You getting mad views. So I'm pretty sure that's what Dreamcast guy was kind of thinking, mm-hmm. in, in a sense. But I don't think he expected the backlash. But he's doing pretty good and um, kind of avoiding the backlash kind of because he's just letting the video stay up and he's pretty much not addressing it at all. So well, it's a, dislikes that still interaction, which helps your video. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't really matter. And then yeah. like he just regularly uploading anyway. So it's just like he got it. <laughs> he got that ad <laughs> revenue. So even if you dislike it, you can't hurt him. Uh, but let me ask everybody here a question. What do you guys think we're going to get the second part of this game? 2023. God, well, damn, please. Yeah. Judging by the fact that in the leaks, we already have, like, assets from Part 2 and whatever other parts in there. I'm actually say 2021. Mm. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. You say 2021? You guys are say that, I'm gonna squeeze, right in, bit, squeeze right in there and say 2020. Like, if you, if you look money. at the leaks, there's a lot of assets from Part 2 in the Part 1 demo. So that's why I'm saying that. I'll put this money is, on it. i put 2022. Uh, this is probably me being a little too hopeful. I'm going to say the end of 2020. Whoa! Nah, the end nah, of 2020. Nah, 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 nah. Ain't no way. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. I feel like we'll get an announcement, maybe. Yeah, some trailers. I'm yeah, thinking, yeah, 2022. Yeah, I'll say 2022. It almost has to release next year, though. Yeah, I'm thinking like next year. Like, they it can't, has they, to. It can't, can't be two years. Maybe we could place the bets, people, when that Let's announcement comes. Bets. I swear to God. Twenty dollar PSN card. On mm. 2022. I'm, I'm, oh. I'm not betting anything. <laughs> I'll bet we don't condone bet. betting on this con- on all this right, podcast. All right, all right, all right. Where, wasn't uh, Shadow and Blake about yeah. to bet in Pokemon? What the hell? <laughs> I mean, listen, listen. That was on his podcast. <laughs> do as we say, not as we do. <laughs> 
But yeah, I, you guys think there's any chance of Final Fantasy VII Remake flopping? I no. say no. No. Uh, well, that, well, if Square has like those ridiculous sales expectations, maybe. Other than that, no. Yeah, yeah, by, yeah mm-hmm. by their standards. Square. Yeah, by their standards, like, sure. But I here's think, the thing. Yeah. Just by looking at the gameplay, can we all agree that from a gameplay standpoint, this looks more fun than Kingdom Hearts 3? Oh, absolutely. Then wow. it's not going to fail. Then it's, it's not, not hard to be more fun than Kingdom Hearts 3. Well, there you, there you have it. Guess what? From a financial standpoint, wasn't Kingdom Hearts 3 a success? I like Kingdom Hearts 3. Mm, yeah. Garbage. Oh, there you go. I don't think it's, it's worth full price, but I like it. That video you threw in the trash, it should have been Kingdom Hearts 3. So wait a minute. Hold up, Blake. Hold up. You say mm-hmm. it wasn't worth $60, but you think Pokemon's worth $60? I never said Pokemon's worth sixty dollars. Oh, I just okay. need my Pokemon fixed because I'm a junkie and I don't care what they put the price point at. I'm gonna buy it. Ew. All right, fair Big enough. Facts. All right, fair enough. I'm just making sure. Man, oh man. Are sure they know sixty dollars Game Boy? All right, guess ma- making sure. Game Boy. You got me like joked up. <laughs> All right, yeah. So I'm thinking Final Fantasy remake is gonna be good. It's gonna score in the nineties. It's gonna sell like like crazy. What um, do you think? Ninety what? I'm gonna go like ninety ninety to ninety four. I'm going to say 91. 91, okay. The original got a 92, I think. Well, that's the original. That's that's like the greatness. That's the original greatness. And this one's like half. No, that's this is like this one's like a third of a game, so. Oh, yeah, and, gonna, and, yeah, and you're saying gonna, 94 right? above it. Hey, man, you know, people out here, they don't want long RPGs anymore, man. <laughs> True, just saying, yeah. That's, that's why it's 91. <laughs> Do you think it being broken up is going to hurt the score? Um, I think if there's, I think if there's a satisfying amount of content in there, mm-hmm. reviewers are not going to care. And depending on the ending, <coughs> if it gets you hyped to play the next part, yeah, I say they, these they casual definitely, reviewers, they won't care. I think if they, if they, you know, uh, ended off on like a uh, an cliffhanger. exciting cliffhanger type of thing, like you know what the trails games do, yeah. people are gonna. I think people are gonna be fine. You already know where it's gonna end, though. I mean, but it's, it's about the execution. Probably, probably. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. This year, Square Enix is going to announce Crisis Core Remaster. Man, I hope so. It's going to happen. Because yeah, it, doesn't the next part, like, go over, like, well, it should? Like, I don't know. I forgot how um early Zack's story comes in. Should... How would you feel if they just remake Crisis Core using this engine? I would love it. That would be great. Hey, what if they remade Dirge of Cerberus? Absolutely not. Get that dog shit piled. <laughs> oh, even if it was using this engine, you don't like the story of Dirge of Cerberus or anything about Dirge of Cerberus. I don't like nothing about Dirge of Cerberus. That, that, that game didn't shouldn't have exist. Bomb man, on. Oh man. <laughs> they should have just went with the re- they should have just went with the remake then. But nah, they had they had done well actually, you know what they had a lot on their plate. They probably had like Final Fantasy thirteen. They was probably working on that. And like versus thirteen before it got, you know, scrapped out and we got the gar- garbage that was Final Fantasy fifteen. Uh, all right, all right. So yeah, Final Fantasy Seven. Let's uh, let's move on to um a hurtful piece of news for me, that really got me right in my core that I was really upset about. You truly hate to see it. Xenosaga, the HD collections, are not a thing. It seems that um the games would not be marketable, from a um I guess from a sales standpoint. But um, I guess we can't lose hope for this. I want to ask you guys a question. Do you guys think that this collection wouldn't be marketable? That's stupid. I do. I think it would. I mean, I think it would be marketable. Like, you you think it would sell a a good amount? Like, the sales would be strong? If you market it, right? Yes, I do. I mean, like, people see the word Xeno in it, and they know it has something to do with Xenoblade and, you know, like... Yes, yes, Xenoblade 1 and 2. So, And those are both successful games, so I don't see why people wouldn't buy this HD collection. Especially if it was on the Switch. Mm, that's what I was thinking, too. Yeah, if it goes to the Switch, people like, would if definitely it's only, buy it. If it's only on PS4, then maybe. But if it's on the Switch, it's definitely going to do a lot better. <laughs> Who's dog? Um, so, I don't know. I was like, I kind of played Xenosaga for a little bit when I heard this news. But I'm kind of feeling that, like, at least Xenosaga Episode 1, it's... It's a bit dated. Like I feel like the I feel like the graphics are a little bit um they're out of, they're out of date, especially the character models. Like I'm not saying they need to do a complete overhaul when it comes to everything, but maybe they should update the character models like they're doing with Xenoblade Chronicles and Definitive Edition. 
Mm, I'll say one is better than two, visually and gameplay wise. Mm. Well, I mean, I mean, also here's another thing to think about: Xenosaga Episode Three. That game is rare. Like it. Yeah. I yes. think I got yes. my copy for like seventy something dollars. Damn. Oof. Oof. That's ridiculous. I think I got my copy at like a, a convention for like thirty bucks, but that was way back. That was I think that was in like two thousand ten. So I got mine pretty cheap. Yeah. Well, like Xenoblade one and two, those games are making the value go up. Hmm. So do you guys think that? Do you guys think that um, people are honestly going to play all three games, or they're just going to buy his collection just to show support? I think they'd play all three. Um, now, here's my thing. I wonder when they conducted this test because times have changed and JRPGs, especially on Switch, have been kind of getting a little more recognition than they have, like, back in the day. And we've been asking for a, Xen- a Xenoblade, or no, Xenosaga collection for a while now. Yeah, we have. I think it was like, it was a couple of years back that they were doing, like, a whole movement <clears throat> called Operation Cosmos, and people were trying to, like, you know, get it trending on Twitter. Yeah. Try to get as many people as they could. I was part of that too, kind of. But um, I guess even back then it wasn't in the cards now. It wasn't in the cards then. But I think right now the climate is perfect for this because yeah, people exactly. love like remasters and remakes and collections and stuff like that. And then like you guys said, the Switch, people will just buy it just for the hell of it. So mm-hmm. I, I, I think I think they should conduct another yeah. survey. I think I think if they're not going to want to spend their time remastering it, I think the very least they could do is one, like put it on the PS4 as a PS2 classic, or two, release it on Steam. Mm, that's true. Yeah, they should. Release I mean, it on Steam. I just can't see a world where Dot Hack GU, and I'm not, you know, taking a knock at Dot Hack GU. How could that get remastered before Xeno Saga? Like, I feel like overall Xeno Saga is a better game. Absolutely. I figured Xenosaga is more well known known than um Dot Hat G U. Yeah, same. So I feel I kinda of feel like somebody was just at like Bandai Nako was just like, I want these games remade and then like they had the final say in that. Because I can't does imagine. Does Dot Hack own Bandai? I mean sorry, does Bandai own Dot Hack? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's that's what I said. It yeah, they both by Bandai. Keep okay. in mind we don't know different. when this survey or whatever was made. Yeah, like, Could have been before yeah. that. Yeah, like I said, about they definitely need to conduct that survey again. Yeah. Yeah, I think if this happens, I, I, I'm pretty sure it would be profitable. But the thing is, also, they, hmm? I was just gonna say, um, so the guy that came out with this news, you know, the Tekken guy. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of weird. It was the Tekken guy that broke this news. <laughs> and he is heavily associated with Bandai Namco. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but you know, he's like mostly into fighting games, right? All right. I mean, you don't know what these people be playing on the down low. Sure. <laughs> That's true. Um, I think they definitely need to, of course, release it in the collection. They might have to update some of the character models. That's that's just it. Just update the character models. Don't worry about the everything else. Um, definitely needs to come out on the Switch, absolutely. It needs to come out in the summer so nothing can interfere with it. Because you know how yeah. there's like a gaming drought in the summer. So there yeah. sh- should be no reason why nobody buys this in the summer. And then by and the summer, it should be able to go on sale around, like, the holidays. And then, and then another thing I think they could do to encourage people to buy it would be to have Xeno Gears as a bonus. Mm. Oh, that would be, yeah. That would be they would have to They would have to get Square's permission for that, but yeah. is, that would definitely be ideal. I think Molosoft needs to just take it. Or, I think... I think oh, my! They, are they still in star charge of it, or is it just... Uh, Square has the rights to Xeno Gears and Monolith for developers. That's why it's kind of a messy situation. Oh, okay. That sucks. And of course, Monolith is with Nintendo now, so. Mm-hmm. Is it the same thing as the same thing with uh, Bandai and Xeno Saga, right? I believe so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it sucks. It's horrible. It, it's terrible. It tears my heart out that I'm not going to be able to play this game in HD this year. All right. Uh, go ahead. All right, let's uh, move on. Unless somebody else got something to say about Xeno Saga. I'm going to try uh, and play that this year. I would love to play it before I hop into Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, whenever the fuck that comes out. Um, what Wasn't there a rumor that was supposed to be coming out May 29th? May like 29th, yeah. baby. And I, I, I hope I, that's I, not the case, because isn't that the exact same day Last of Us 2 comes out? Is it? It is. 
But um, hmm. yeah, I would love to play the Xeno Saga trilogy before that game comes out. So I hope yeah, that I, definitive edition for Xenoblade Chronicles comes out sometime, yeah, summer wanna, or whatever. I want to. I want to play it too. I've only played episode one, but like, I mean, I have a PS2 set up so I can play it on, but I have to play it on a small CRT screen. Oof. Ew. How how does it feel playing on a CRT screen? Um, well, a lot of CRTs, they emit this, like, they, like, emit this ringing sound, and that kind of, that's kind of annoying. Oh, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's better, put it put it this way, it's better than, like, playing it on a modern TV, because PS2 games are made for CRT screens, so, like, you put it, you hook it up to a modern TV, and it just stretches it all across your TV, it looks like complete garbage. So wow. it's better than playing it on a recent TV, put it that way. Okay, fair enough. What? Well, uh, oh, I don't think you have a powerful enough PC to, like, emulate stuff, I guess? I mean, I can, em- like, it can emulate PS2 games, but I get a bunch of lag and stuff, so... Oh, yeah. And, I mean, I already own all the games physically, so I might as well just play them on a TV. That's true, that's true. Um, like, for some of the games I like to emulate, Nocturne actually works out pretty well, but Xenosaga was, like, giving me some crazy-ass stuff. Really? Yeah, I, I gotta, like, mess with the settings like crazy to get Xenosaga to work properly. Interesting. I remember loaded up Xenosaga over here and it was to actually dive into it and see some things. Alright. Alright, so Xenosaga, that's that. Uh let's move on to uh one of the meat and potatoes of this podcast. Pokemon Sword and Shield got their expansion pass. And uh it's it's setting the internet or maybe the Pokemon fan base ablaze a little bit. It's got some people thinking that this is really good. It's got other people thinking that this should have been the case from the jump. And uh, I know, Jammer, you got a lot to say about this. Uh, So, Jammer, if you want to tell us exactly why you think this is such a good thing. If Jammer's around, I don't think so. So, Blake. Well, Blake, what about you? What? Oh, hey. Yeah. Um, So, in terms of the expansion pass... Um, I think that people are just at this point looking just to throw shade at Game Freak for anything nowadays. Um, The fact that people people are under the impression that you need to pay for Pokemon and you don't have to do necessarily um, because you can A, transfer these Pokemon in or you can B, encounter them through raid battles or transfer them or uh, trade with them rather. Um, I think if it's something that you have an interest in, then play it. If you have an interest in, then don't. It's as simple as that. There's a lot of people that are just angry at Game Freak still over the not having the national decks and then having it be like a $60 game. And there's th- there's a whole lot uh, of stuff here. Personally, I think it's exciting. I like that they're, that they're doing this. I think that it's pretty cool that we actually have um, dungeons. I think they're what they call the Max Raid Dungeons or something like that. Um, you can... Yeah, that's about to be lit. Yeah, that's going to be. Oh, imagine like exploring like a Zelda dungeon with like a bunch of friends and fighting like Dynamax legendaries. I am looking exactly. forward to that. So um, but... there is so much to say. And like you said, there's a lot of angles, a lot of people. Back. There's the anger is, is justified to an extent. But when we think about it, the previous model was released two games and released another $60 edition or another $60 <laughs> edition in that same region that adds minimal stuff for a full price. This time they're giving us two DLCs for the price of $30. So how do you get mad at that? Uh, first of all, not only that, two big pieces of story. Well, I don't know about big. That that's me being yeah. a little aggressive. But uh, so I was saying, I think it's probably, we could say maybe one third of the main game story. So that's two thirds that we're getting added for the price of thirty dollars. Okay, so first of all, Pokemon Sword and Shield wasn't worth sixty dollars out the ju- out the gate. They never are. Can we agree on that? I think we can. We can definitely all agree on that. So they charged you sixty dollars for this game initially. Cut well, quote unquote, cut Pokemon or stuff that should have been an initial release, um, because it's pretty much understood since last game that that they had most of the Pokemon or all the Pokemon in it out the gate. Didn't they have all, all of them in um, uh, Sunday Moon? Sunday Moon. Able X-Y to get them all released hmm. without a national Dex, and you can never get them in the wild unless you purchased Pokemon Bank and transfer them in. That is the same exact case going on for right now. But the I thing is, in those old games, though, you could still complete your Pokedex in some they were, way. They were in not X and code. Y. X and Y, no. you couldn't complete it until you transferred in from bank, and then from there, it kind of yeah. That's what I'm saying. You, the data was in the game. Sword and Shield, you just can't. Not on release. 
Yeah, and that's why people are mad because they said it would be too hard to bring those Pokemon over, and now oh, we're giving you two hundred more. So yeah. Like, did you lie to us or what? See, I mean, I get into <clears throat> a lot more because it's just like we're moving from a 3DS to a Switch. And if you look at Let's Go models, those still aren't even the same models. They actually improved those ones as well. So I think of that. I think of some animations are bad. Some are really good. Dynamics animations are pretty crazy. And that has to be done for a, just every other, for every other, every 400 Pokemon needed a Dynamax animation with their own moves to be animated. So, I mean, at, but see, all of this is still justified to an extent, but I still think that a lot of nobody really thinks about the whole, the full picture. It's about that 400 uh, cut from 800, even though these models do look substantially better. The shading is substantially improved. You can watch analysis videos from Digital Foundry. You can see they even say there was work needed to be done. We're talking about a 143 company that was cut in half because half of them were developing town. So there's so many of these factors and they release games yearly. So they have a time crunch to beat to meet. So it's like, either do you want them to spend the time to give us 800 Pokemon and now have a lot less content in the game? Or do we want to cut Pokemon and get some content? Obviously some of this could still be done, but I just feel like these games have never been some monumental change ever. Uh, I understand wanting them to do that now, but for the first game of on this new system, I feel like it's a bit too aggressive. Agreed. Um, so let me make sure I got this straight because I know we talked about this on Blake's podcast. So you only have to pay thirty dollars and you get both access to Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Correct. Correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, but if you you still have to buy them separate for each version of the game. Well, you, yeah. yeah. If you you have to buy the expansion. Yeah. Get to buy two expansion passes if you want to get both of it. Or for both the conversions of the game. It's okay. not one well, universal really, pass. You buy one, you pl- get play all that stuff, and you can transfer them over. So there's really... I don't know why you want to buy two. Okay, because I, I got Sword and Shield, so I'm playing through both of them. So I might... I mean, in theory, uh, it'd be nice to have the other version, because they said that, like, just the other versions of the game, there'll be exclusives for each version true, of the pass. True, true, true. But if you have someone who's... If you have a friend, you can, you can just get those from and breed. There's never normally more than, like, 20 or 30 exclusives, so it's pretty easy to get a hold of. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. So there's two DLC passes for each version of the game, or no, no, there's no, one say... expansion for each version. Oh, okay. Hey, you're not gonna have to pay thirty dollars for part for part one, and then pay another thirty dollars for part two, correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. It's just okay. one. It's basically a season's pass, and they haven't announced if you'll be able to buy them separately. Um, if they did, it'd probably just be like fifteen bucks a piece. Okay. So, but, but, uh, yeah, but so my whole thing is that, like, yeah, they cut Pokemon from the game. Well, not all the Pokemon are in it. And they said that it was for, like, balancing issues issues, and to, like, you know, give the other Pokemon more chance a chance to shine. And improve animation. And improve animation. That's what they said. Like, see, me, I don't really care because I still enjoy Pokemon Sword and shit. I'm not that deep into it. But some of y'all should be a little bit more upset about this because they straight up lied in that account because now they're giving us 200 plus more in these expansions. Then, but they the have next time one, to, to, to add all that. It took, so they released the game and then they're spending the time to animate the rest of them. In that trailer, you saw them animating things like talent flame dark chomp right yeah. they got it out the door because they have a deadline because they're controlled by the pokemon company a 1.5 billion dollar company so they have to meet these timelines so they get it out and while now that they spend their time working on it before it would be there spend time on this newer you know the third the third copy <clears throat> like an emerald or a platinum but this time they're doing it in dlc because that's just where gaming is like right they, they they're always slow nintendo's always slow with adapting to the way that your trends go. Zelda did it, and then now Pokemon's doing it. See, I uh, feel that's the core issue is that they have to meet these ridiculous deadlines. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, this game doesn't need to be... Like, if it's not well. ready, just give it more time. But they have to coincide with the anime, merchandise, and all this other mm-hmm. stuff, and that kind of screws them over. It's so I understand that, but at the same time, I can't really give them a pass on certain things. And I still love the games, just, yeah. It's just like, what, I mean, they're being funded by them, so they gotta listen. And those, I, I feel, to me personally, I feel like Game Freak would love to spend more time, but they don't. They don't have a choice. 
Uh, so hold, hold on, Diali. What, what were you gonna say? Because you got, got kind of got cut off there. Well, I was I was just gonna say about the whole like expansion pass thing. Like one thing I can kind of understand people being upset about is that if you waited till the third version of like of each game, like Platinum or Emerald, you could still buy that for just forty dollars if you didn't own the original game. But now you have to buy the base game, and then you have to buy the expansion pass on top of that. That's where I was coming from. I think oh. then the argument I would say is that the, the, the content of each blow one of those passes in terms of content, maybe not story length, but content wise, blows these other re releases out of the water, in my opinion, based on what we've seen so far. But like Pokemon Sword and Shield, they were a little bit bare bones compared to your other Pokemon games. And like you said, Jeremy, this is like a billion dollar company. How is that possible? And how do they even have deadlines? They're like, again, a billion dollar company. Why couldn't they hire more people to work on this game? That's you, what you I was for, because you it's all about the, profit. I say, you, you, with, with Pokemon games, I've come to realize you pay the Pokemon tax of it being a behemoth <laughs> of a series. They can get away with the minimal, and people will complain. But if it still sells, they're not going to care. And you gotta look at game company sizes. These things aren't that big. When we talk about Destiny, that's one of the, that's a game company that's large. Whenever you have too big of teams, the game's quality goes down. Having this smaller amount can can have some benefits and it has some negatives. Benefits is it can have a more complete game and you know push that out in a faster time. Uh, negatives is you can't do as much in these timelines that they have. Okay, that's so. that's fair enough. I I suppose. But uh, but I, I, I just can't see how they couldn't just, like, get more people on and do... Because it just feels like now Pokemon is catching up to the rest of the world. You make a, a half ass product, and then you give DLC later. That's what it kind of just feels like to me. It's always been this way. Except we didn't get DLC, we got another standalone game. Mm. But at the same time, I have to wonder, like, people are saying this is better than a re-release, but what if they didn't <clears throat> release this DLC, and then we were to still get a re-release? That's what, what I'm thinking. What would happen then? Think Wait, who said this statement. is a standalone game? I said... No, 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 no. no. I said that that's what it used to be. Oh, okay, okay. I just yeah. want to make sure. Because I was <laughs> going to be like, this is like, you can't play this game without buying the, the DLC, original. Yeah. yeah. What if they Isn't still do like a yeah like like they already said? What if they still do like a Pokemon gun or a Pokemon em <laughs> emblem or something they, like uh, that? They're not. They, they put a statement. Okay, they put yeah. A statement they also they also said that they were going to do animations. They also said that they were um do do taking them out for balance issues. So it's pretty pretty known yeah. that they lie. So, but there. I mean, my only argument is, don't you see the good animations? I've seen like Iron Shield or uh, whatever. 30 hour, whatever the hell that has a new there's there are new animations that look a lot better but we focus on the simpler ones double kick tackle mm. nobody talks about the dynamax but when you look at well. behemoth blade though that too like there's some crazy ones but nobody wants to talk about that okay all right People yeah but it's in the minority game free. All right. I don't know. Also, on the balancing thing, the most hilarious part about that is that they're bringing back Theory and Landorus. Ah, uh, bro, your I'm niggas ain't ready. Happy about that. Your niggas ain't ready. So wait, 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 right wait. now the meta is pretty oh. cool. It's it's tame. There's a lot of standards, but it's so t dude. Oh my god, it's so good right now. I love it. Mm. Just 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 wait till Landorus comes in. And I'm gonna be so sick. <laughs> so. So I guess you're all here, the Pokemon players, you're all going to easily get this expansion pass, no problem. See, the thing is, it looks lit. Like, like, so we don't know how much is coming, but based off what we know, like what they've shown, are you? I don't understand how you you don't, at least, even if you don't care for it, you can't at least acknowledge that it looks really, really crazy. Like, I don't know, man. Like, they've, like no, no third game has ever added so much stuff. <laughs> Based on just what we see so far, in my hey, opinion. So they said for the multiplayer part, are they going to do it like Tim Tim, where you can literally run around with your buddy or something? See, I feel like it's the same way Waters is right now, where it's you just see that. I don't know if it's, I don't know if you know, it might be a full on co op where you can maybe get like squat up, but my, I think it's just going to be how it is right now, where you just see characters walking around. I don't know. Mm. That would be crazy if you can like squat up with like, and that would be wild. 
I don't think dude, you're giving Game Freak too much credit. They're gonna give you yeah. like they're just gonna <laughs> give you I swear this is what it's gonna be. It's gonna be a wild area with like some like events, but it's not gonna be like all that great. And that's like, what I'm concerned not about. Because yeah. these entire areas are just wild areas. So I'm hoping they're not empty and barren. They probably are gonna be. Like I I get the feeling there's gonna be another controversy when this releases. Yeah, we're gonna see. We're gonna see. I have no idea, honestly. It just looked hype based on what they show. The legendaries, these new Reggie forms, new Goliath. Uh, these new Reggies like, are adorable. It's going to be wild. I just think, yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm, I'm going to get it myself. Like I said, I was, I enjoy Pokemon Sword and Shield for what they were, but I kind of felt like people were just all invested into the hype and then realized that there's some things that's a, that's a little bit crazy, you know? I'm not. I'm not too against it, but there is just some things going on. All you right. see, I back in the Vita days, I used to laugh at po- while I bought it. I used to laugh at them because I was always like, "Look at that 3DS looking game! Like how bad it looks!" <laughs> and then we have the Vita, but I always liked it because I never bought it for some monumental. It's kind of just nostalgia factor. Like that's kind of what kind of what Wes uh, West said. He he buy this uh, Game Freak tax, <laughs> so. Mm. And that's how it's always been, but I, and I but what happens is people just expected more. I don't know why, just because they went on a switch. But it's the same concept of going from a DS to a 3DS. I think I was expecting more of a change on the 3DS. Didn't get it. People were super hyped. I, I, I if we dug, dug up tweets, I was saying this back then. But uh, so it was just wild to me that all of a sudden, people were so hung up on it. But I, I still do get it because yeah, it's a big change. Switch is a more powerful system, but um. It's just typical. Like, they've always been like this. And uh, that's why I'm not surprised. All right. So, before we move on to our next topic, there's about 120 people in here right now. I see only about 30 likes. What's going on here, people? What is going on? Can we get on? some likes going on in the chat? Hit that, that like button video. for your boys. <laughs> Thumbs up. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. Smash that like button. Yeah, there we Smash go. Smash that like button. <laughs> Oh, okay, alrighty, alright. So, um, this next topic is pretty much for, um, for Riku. Huh? Because you done got me fucked up. Ooh. <laughs> you, you got me completely just upside down, toxic turvy. Like, somebody used Trick Room on me. I don't know what's going on right now. Alright? Alright, the Switch. Yes. You are out I'll here. Like this year. Yeah. You are out here saying to people that the Switch is a freaking knife gen console? Is that yes. what you're saying out here? Now, yeah. how, how? How, Sway? How, Sway? Because, in my opinion, the. Your, your is, opinion. Yes, yes, definitely have to throw that out there. Not as theirs, right? <laughs> um, the Wii U had, even though everyone would say, oh, the Wii U failed, blah, 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 blah. How long was the Wii U life span? Okay, so first of all, yeah, it was like it, exactly five years. Five okay. years. How long usually range a regular console lifespan from how many years minimum to how many years maximum? Probably like six four or to seven. Eight. Oh, really? Mm. Four. Well, the four to Xbox, eight. the original Xbox, that was four. Okay. Dang, I didn't know that. Was the original Xbox a failure? Uh, compared to the so. PS2, but I wouldn't call it a failure. Yeah. To to Microsoft, it wasn't a failure. Understandable. Point is, the Wii in my the Wii U had a regular console lifespan. Its successor is the whoa whoa. Switch. It's not a successor. Okay, it's a replacement. It That's I mean, what the all Switch is. Are a replacement. No 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 if no 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 no. Discontinue your previous. You console. discontinue it because it was trash. That's why. If the Switch oh, yeah. was no, successful, just, no, 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 it no, no. would still... I mean, we you was... discontinued no. it early because, because it, it was a failure. Well. Exactly. Yeah. So this is their replacement for that. No. But, but well, what, like, one thing I want to throw in is that they didn't do it until the 8th generation was almost over. You want like, to usually... say that the Vita is a failure, correct? It is a when, failure. When did, when, did, when, did, <laughs> when did Sony... Officially end the Vita. Last Out year. the gate? <laughs> you said no. La- he said it last year. Well, oh, last year. so how long would that lifespan be? What was it? It was. It was. It was around the same. It's like eight it came out the same and year. A half. 
you. Yeah. Okay, but this. Okay, but like the Vita, like Sony didn't come out with a replacement for that one once they realized it wasn't doing well. Wait, 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 wait. What? What is? What, I'm confused where this is going right now, though. My point is. I don't feel that Nintendo has two con. Everyone wants to say that Nintendo has two consoles in the eighth generation. They do. When it's like, I I don't believe that. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean they have two consoles? Yeah, the so Wii U and the Switch. Yes. Release. And the they're, saying that, they're, they're saying I that. I consider I consider them separate though. Yeah, the Wii U released during the PS3 generation. How, how is that? Yeah. See, I have people on my side. Shadow, what's going on here? The Wii U released in 2012. What is, yeah, like it, it's considered an eighth gen console too. But okay. PS3 I mean, is wait 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 what gen? <laughs> PS3 okay, PS3 is an eighth gen also. Seven. PS3 sorry sorry is seven. Eighth gen. That's what I was gonna say. So PS3 is eight is seven. No, it's, Wii U is seven. No, the Wii U is eight. I'm no, like, we, Wii U is eighth head. because the because the PlayStation and the Xbox 360 uh there the Nintendo uh Wii? yeah the Nintendo I Wii mean, was up against those. If you're going to count the Wii U as a 7th gen console, you might as well count the Xbox 360 as a 6th gen console. Yeah, because the because the Xbox 360 was technically competing against the PlayStation 2 at a certain point before the PlayStation 3 came out. Just like how the Nintendo Switch is competing against the PlayStation 4 until the PlayStation 5 comes out. Oh, I'm so confused. Just because a, just because a console competes against another console that's in a previous gen doesn't put them in the same generation yeah yes, i mean but... i don't i don't think nintendo has any plans to re release a new console soon unless you count the switch pro i would say the switch pro would probably come around 2022 if there is one it's coming uh this year and that would be their answer to playstation 5 and xbox series x so, it's coming so do you guys <laughs> think we're gonna get a play or a switch pro of some kind I don't think I, I would know. like one. It's like, no, yeah, I feel like it's because I feel like they're just gonna leave it as what they have. I, mean, I feel on, like they're they not. Really... Here, you got to take in con into consideration. This is Nintendo we're talking about, and when it comes to no, we're not uh -huh. talking about the consoles, we're talking about their handheld. How many iterations, when it comes to their handhelds, do they usually have? Wait, Wait is it, isn't this a um a console? It's a hybrid, it, it, it's a, it's a hybrid all, but listen, I would listen, almost a, consider it, it as a, a console. It's a. No. Th that means that both of their teams, their console, their the team that they had working on their consoles and the team they had working on their handles, whether they were oh, separate or combined, they are all working on the Switch right now. Mm -hmm. So when you look at all of the their iterations of all of their handhelds, the majority, if not all of them, had a second version or even a third version. How many versions of the 3DS were there? Bro, like, like literally. Like, yeah, but the 3DS was a no, lot okay. cheaper to you reproduce. You have yeah, but you have to also have to take into consideration. Nintendo really only has one device they're worried about. Going on now. right now, yeah. Oh, this is Bro, true. There's no way they can get by next generation without releasing a strong, they're, they're, without a strong console. There's just there's no way. Yeah, I would say it'd be especially beneficial for them if they're going to keep putting out more third party. They literally uh, made the yeah. 3DS XL, which was a powerful, more powerful version than the 3DS. And how many games did they have released for it that took advantage of that? Like two. <laughs> Yep, exactly. Two, I yeah. don't give a fuck, my guy. <laughs> there's, I, I do definitely think that there's a mid to high chance that there's going to be a Switch Pro. Um, you know, when everybody's running around having fun with their PlayStation 5s and Xbox Series X, I do think that there's a mid to high chance that they're going <laughs> they to come out with a Switch Pro. They have to. Like... They'll call it the new Switch. My point is, during that time when everyone's playing PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, are we really going to be, like, during that time, are we really going to say that, oh, yeah, so Nintendo hasn't released their console for this generation that we're in? Which No, we're not saying, I don't think they're saying that. You know, you. <laughs> Nobody's really saying that. The Switch can't yeah, they're not be saying, nice. I'm, I'm, No, I understand they're not saying that because they're because it hasn't happened yet. It's not here. What I'm saying <laughs> is that they will be saying that when we are when we are on PlayStation 5 and Series X. Yeah, I, I agree with someone in the chat that said I think they're less concerned about hardware. I think they're more concerned about um, like stream, their streaming service and stuff like that. And I think they're doing other things in the background, whether it be working on not the Switch, but other stuff. Because, I mean, you can't just keep the Switch forever. It's not going to work like that. They can if they keep releasing more models. They yeah, could, like, but, you, you know, how, there's always you people expanding the horizon. 
that's understandable, but we see how successful the Switch is. I doubt, because because here's the thing, the Wii they they stopped the Wii U early because it wasn't you know living up to what their expectations were from a sales standpoint. Mm-hmm. If the Switch is living up to their you know, from a sales they're standpoint, ride this train. exactly. They're going to ride this train. You know, they're going to keep that install base. They want to, you know, with the, the games that they've released for the switch thus far, it definitely seems that their the fans are happy and satisfied for what they've gotten. They're going to ride this out. So you think that if like the, the um, series X and the PS five comes out, people are going to be like, where is on uh, Nintendo's next console? Nah, I don't they're think gonna yeah, gonna they like will that. be. Of course they will be. I don't think they'll I be think, like. I don't think they're going to be like. Where is the successor to the Switch? I think they're going to be more so. Where is our Switch Pro? Yes, bro. Because when these start, then when these games start being, you know, when we get into the mix of next gen and these games that they want to have third party for can't run on a base Switch, net, like like uh, comfortably, they have to have something to answer if they want to continue to have their stall base growing. Their Switch is doing so well right now because of the third base and the third party titles. They've, they've never had them and it's never prospered that much besides the Wii because it was kind of just so unique. Yeah, that was and the way that they're going right now. Yeah. So, bro, it has to happen. Well, it's been three years. They got to come out with something. They did the Switch Lite. So now we need something else. The rumor is that it's going to be revealed this year. And and the thing is, yeah, the Switch Lite came out and it probably did good numbers, but... Real good. Mm -hmm. They need something more. Like, that's not going to do it. Yeah. 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 The Switch Switch Lite, we all agree, or I hope we all agree, that it it basically got made because of Pokemon. Right. Yeah. Yeah. More or less. So if that's right. if that's, needed, if they're going to come, and if they're going to come out with a version of the Switch just for Pokemon, why wouldn't they come out with a version of the Switch to continue to pro you know, uh, follow up base. with the well, with the third party games as he was saying that we know that they most likely won't be able to handle with the two versions of the Switch that they have up right now. Yeah, the especially Switch if they Lite. start doing multi plats of like you said the yeah. PS5 and series x games we need this is this is just all of the stuff that's going on in my head shadow i understand everyone's perspective on it being an eighth gen some people were even talking about the virtual boy and trying to bring that into into the conversation (laughs) when they tried to you know take all of the nintendo hand uh nintendo consoles and associate them with the generations going all the way back to the first i understand where you guys are coming from but do you at least, to some degree, understand where I'm coming from? Hell no! This thing is an eighth gen console, God. and I don't give a damn what you people say. All right, nah. All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, that, I, I, nah, I yeah. see where you're coming from. I'm not sure. I, I, I think we all see where you're coming yeah. from, but they, they could literally be doing anything. Nintendo doesn't give a crap exactly. what we I think understand. exactly. So they no, could pull I'm... out a wild card and have like some random smaller console come out and be like, "Yeah, here's this thing." Bruh, See, the problem right here, with man, that here, it doesn't make it's, sense because then the divide. Yeah, it just they because they, they're right, able to yeah. handle both sides. The handheld with the Switch Lite, or if you just want to use your Switch as a sole handheld console. The, I don't know what else they're gonna make. I I, I can't. I have no idea. So they're gonna make I a Switch like, that's only for the TV. Yeah, like so this this Switch like thing is going on. For that would nice, be if they had streaming five, services and they had Nintendo online up car. They could totally get away with that. Regardless, the Switch Pro will still be coming, even if that does give it a doctor. There will be a stronger Switch. Because that's the thing. We would, I <laughs> so, mentioned so it earlier. Leave it, Call it the alley. <laughs> what you got to say? Go, go ahead, man. Who, me? I, I, I didn't have anything to say. Oh, well, okay. I was going to I was, I was gonna say in regards to... Uh, I mentioned it earlier. It was a little tidbit. But the Alien... Uh, what, what is that thing? The, Alienware, right? Alien, um, UFO. Yeah, Alienware UFO. I don't know, you know, in regards to the whole, you know, the, the patents and whatnot, if they could get sued, if they could come out. That's besides the point. Point is, they're coming out with something that is extremely if and slash or identical to the Switch. And we definitely know it's more powerful than the Switch. Nintendo, if they can come out with this, Nintendo definitely has to do something about that. Bro, yeah, because I think the, the, I'm not sure what the CPU chip in that thing is, but it's pretty old for the Switch. It's so old, and I feel like that was intentional. They released it out the gate to have that, and then they'll just put a stronger one later. Yeah, so it's just. All right. I'll just say this one last, I'll just say this one last thing. Um, <laughs> damn, what the first. <laughs> uh,. This, they're gonna come out with a Squish Pro, and then they're gonna come out with a Squish Pro Lite. 
That's what Hell I think yeah. is basically <laughs> Hell yeah. And anybody who thinks that the Switch is a ninth gen console, you probably dropped it on your head as a baby. Jeez. So, so, I probably so, was. Nah. And then we yeah. talked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing around. Uh, let me see something real quick here. Okay. Yeah, Let's... so you guys think Switch is going to have a streaming service? It makes sense, but I think it's going to take a while. You mean like their own streaming service? Yeah. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> oh, you mean like how Xbox has right? next Everybody's year? Everybody's going to have it at some point, at some point in time. I think they're doing good with their virtual um, console. I mean, virtual. Yeah, virtual See, console. But they haven't updated that in like three months. It used to be monthly, but as soon as they started doing SNES games, they were like, no, we can't do it monthly. Because they're working on the 64. The <laughs> bro, bro if, they, if they treat this like PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live, and you can get like free N64 and GameCube games each month, bro, I will pay $85 a month for this. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how about just give us the virtual console, the Wii U? He's got a point, but then I feel like you could just buy the one reason to own Nintendo Switch Online. They need to, they need to give us a reason to own Nintendo Switch Online. Well, give us a... No, never mind. I was going to say a Game Boy Virtual Console, but... Oh, bro, that could work so well. Game but I still want that collection of Mega Man Battle console. Network. Oh, Battle Network, So Let's I can play Kirby yes. Air Ride on my Switch. Yes! Yes! <laughs> this is why we like Gnarly. This is why we like Gnarly. <laughs> what did you say? I said, he wants to play Kirby Air Ride. GameCube Virtual Console so we can play Kirby Air Ride. Mm. Bruh. Kirby, okay. See. Listen, if anyone's trying to net play Kirby's Air Ride with me and Yarly, bro, you know where to find us. Exactly. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Um, let's see. All right, all right, all right. Fair enough, fair enough, guys. Switch is an eighth or ninth. I'm a, I'm a let it live. I just got a question for everybody here, real quick. Why does everybody seem to think that this game, Dragon Ball Kagarot, it's oh, gonna be the best thing since sliced bread. What, what, what's going on here? <laughs> Come I've been on, wondering this that, too. Ain't nobody saying all. Yeah, who that. said that, bro? <laughs> I've actually I gotta, seen I this. Talk. I have seen this. Oh my god. <laughs> like, my thing is, we're visiting the same good. main arcs as always. Yeah. So it's like, I don't Besides see why people are getting hyped. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's it's like the game will be a very quality game. The yeah. problem is that it's the same thing. So. <sighs> Here's the thing I have with that. It's I don't I really don't want to shit on anyone that likes CyberConnect. But me and CyberConnect mm -hmm. has never I mean, ha have never gotten along with when it comes to gameplay. So you're saying um, they're not that great. Got it. Keep going. Gameplay. I, I have to agree. Yeah. Yeah. When you don't game, like Storm the Storm series? No, I do not like Storms Dang, whatsoever. The only that's storm I the only storm I like is Storm One. Is there one? That's one. Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, all right. Nah, 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 nah. I think all from right. a gameplay nah, standpoint, nah, 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 Storm nah, nah, 1 nah, nah. had a lot going on and Storm 2 removed all of that. But we're not here bro. to talk about bro. that. I think from a gameplay standpoint, the only game that's that CyberConnect has ever made that is good is that JoJo's All Star Battle. Nah, 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 Oh, yes. And it's not because I'm a JoJo's fan. It's not because you're a JoJo's fan. It's game game. Game. Okay, oh, I will goodness. say in the Storm games, they have a lot of annoying, super annoying, busy work in between each, like, you know, quick time event cutscene type thing. Storm didn't have all of that. I'm, I mean, well, yeah, we Storm talk about that. We just talk about the gameplay itself, right? Yeah. Like, the anyway. Combat. Yeah. Combat was good. Here's the yeah, thing. So Squ Squ Square started a gameplay on the version of Final Fantasy VII Remake that they had going on, and they was like, get the fuck out. Okay. So CyberConnect, they're a little iffy with me when it comes to that. I think that CyberConnect is a phenomenal uh, company when it comes to the spectacle and the cell shading graphics that they do. I don't think there's anyone out there that is uh, as good as them when it comes to those two things, the spectacle and the cell shading graphics that they have. Those Storm games, I yeah, they look phenomenal. But gameplay-wise, man... <sighs> I'm going to have to look at some more of this game because for right now, what all, all I'm seeing, and this is a hot take, all I'm seeing is a Xenoverse mm. from a gameplay standpoint. All I'm seeing is Xenoverse. Mm. Exactly. <laughs> Bruh, I don't I'm know seeing, where to start. I'm, it's, it's Dragon Ball combo, combo type of gameplay, vanishing, mm. teleport, and all that stuff. And then if you look at your bottom right, what do you see? The same little shortcut things that you see in Xenoverse mm. that you can assign to your character. Same thing you see in Jump Force. Hmm. Yeah, same ah, thing you see in Jump Force. You are same not you going Naruto Storm. <laughs> to same talk thing about you see. Jump Force. Say, wait, 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 no, no, no. But here's the thing. 
But Jump Force was trying to copy Storm, which was a Cyber Connect game. And you know what else? They they're the ones that basically created that whole shortcut menu. With, you see all your signatures. It was, it was it Xenoverse. Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. It was Xenoverse. <clears throat> no, Xeno yeah, I know Xenoverse did that, but Storm did it first. And so did JoJo's All Star. Uh, what's it called? JoJo's Eyes of Heaven. That was also made by Cyber Connect. So they have two oh, games geez. under their belt that they did that Storm with. Storm is good. Jump Force sucks. Yes. Exactly. That's besides Another the point. We're just thing. talking about that little gameplay aspect that they also have in this game. What I mean, also. but what, what, when I say that, I mean that as Storm did it in a correct fashion. Jump Force did it. I said Jump Force's roster. As I mean, well, also, I mean, but JoJo's anywhere. Eyes of Heaven did it also. That was made by Cyber Connect, and they did it. They but didn't that do it game, that well either. I mean, let's be real. Oh, it's JoJo, but, uh, it's it's it's, it's Cyber Connect at the end of the day. They created the game. Like CC2's been doing stuff. that. That's just a staple of theirs. They've been doing it since .gu the shortcut attacks. But that's not like a big issue, I don't think. No, I'm just I'm just saying. It's like I said. That's all I'm seeing <clears throat> from this game is a cyber connect type of game. Game. Well, yeah, because people see... are going crazy that this game is going to be like one of the best like Dragon Ball games, one of the best anime games. I'm like, bro, this just looks like a regular schmegler everyday run of the mill anime game that has Dragon Ball on it, has like <laughs> some RPG elements, and that's about it. And of course, of course, it's gonna sell because it's Dragon Ball. I don't know why people thinking this is gonna be any different. Some people were saying that this is gonna rate higher. Well, fighters on Metacritic? What was that about? Absolutely Did anyone hear not. that hot oh, take? It, like, might. What the? <laughs> it, it might. The reason why it no. might is it, it appeals to more people. No, okay, it's this not. Is, this no, is so first of all, it, I don't think it appeals. I, don't, I personally what is, don't what think it What is it sitting at right more. now? I'm going to see what Dragon Ball Fighters you, is. Dragon Ball Fighters is like the highest rated Dragon Ball game of all time. Wait, is it really? Yes. Yeah, I didn't know that. Let me see. <sighs> <laughs> you really think you can beat that? You really get? You really think Kakarot oh, is gonna, gonna I feel them shoes? Y'all, uh, if uh, West Time Two goes off the internet for a few weeks, uh, eighty-seven. That's yeah. It. You so, say that's it? That's high to? That's close to ninety. I think I think uh, Kakarot's gonna sit at ninety. Mm. Mm. Man, man, oh man. man, oh man. Talk to him. Yo, you want it on the chat? Man, like oh bucks. man. <laughs> Yo, some crows, some crows are going to be eaten. All types of crows are going to be eaten. Hold on, wait a minute. Let's spend some money on this, please. I bet you a sixty dollar game no. that, that game is that thing is not getting a ninety. Nah, I don't Come even, on. I think at, I think at very high, at its very highest, it's gonna get it. <laughs> Eighty five, eighty four. I don't even know about that. The way I see this game, like one of my favorite Dragon Ball games is Alexia Goku Two and Boo's Fury on the Game Boy Advance. This one looks like a souped up, even better version of those games, which are amazing exactly. uh, RPGs mm. that offer a exactly. lot of content, and you don't have to worry about. The thing I love about this too is that you don't have to worry about the crappy, cheap online modes that all these freaking anime games throw in. Talk to them. <sighs> We'll see. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, well, I don't know about top and fighters, but it's gonna be it's gonna be above seventies. Maybe it's definitely above gonna be 85. better than Xenoverse. So, oh, like God. I said, from a gameplay, like, like I said, from a gameplay standpoint, I don't think that this is going to top Xenoverse from a gameplay standpoint. What? Nah, what? No. nah. Mm. Because, uh, I don't think Xenoverse so. You played Xenoverse. Awful. When was the last time you played Xenoverse? That's uh, what I'm saying, bro. I was I was heavy in the, into the Xenoverse games when they first came out. Oh. Like number one, okay, and two, one was like trash. Like if you go back and play that game now, those mechanics have aged terribly. Two, they tightened them up. I, I don't see still... how I don't see how you say this. Still, oh, just real quick, like guys, I said, as far um, as what I've seen, it looks like Xenoverse to me. I don't quick. see any. I don't see the characters doing anything different that I didn't see Xenoverse characters do. Also, so, like the characters as they progress and level up, like their moves change. Like the way they, like you were saying, they vanish. Like. Vanishing at level one is totally different from vanishing at like level eighty or something. All right, hold on, guys. N Niall, did you have something you had to say or? Not really. I mean, oh. I'm not really a Dragon Ball fan. The only Dragon Ball game I've actually like gotten really into were Budokai Tenkaichi one and two, or sorry, not one and two, two and three. Oh, good. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I did. I did play a man of culture here. I ain't gonna lie, he you right. We all shall right. see, y'all. All right, I, I still... don't have faith in CyberConnect. That's all I'm saying. Big facts. Big facts. All right. All right. So uh, Dragon Ball Z Kagarai, it's going to be an anomaly. I don't know why people are hyped for this game. It, why, like I said, I'm counting for a 79. 
and lower. No, eighty and lower. What's our bet, Blake? I'm seeing. I'm seeing 80. a seventy-eight. All right, seven. If, if it hits seventy-nine and sticks and sticks there for like or for how long did we say we said it was a week? Is a week after we it releases. A week, week after, after it releases. releases. If it if it hits seventy nine or or stays below seventy nine, I owe Shadow twenty bucks. However, as soon as that hits eighty, boy, ooh, <laughs> boogie wonderland. Let's get bro. it, bro. It's gonna be Shadow, lit. You better lose that bet. No, I'm definitely bro. not. It's totally not gonna hit eighty. No, it's, it's not. Gonna, bro. It's gonna be okay, a miracle if it hits eighty. Here's, here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I want this game to be good because I like me some Dragon Ball. I already told you I enjoy both Xenoverse one and two, and I heard that Trunks is playable in this game. So you basically. Most fucking soul. <laughs> so if the game is good, I'm gonna be there. Will I be there day one? Probably not, but I will be there. Okay. If bro. the game is good, I just oh. need to hear the outcome of this bet. That's all I care about. <laughs> you about to lose so did money. anyone other than Jammer get the Google Stadia? So wait, you, are you still holding yeah, on to this ninety? Are you still holding on to this ninety for Dragon Ball Fight? Uh, no, Dragon I'm Ball? not. I'm okay. not. That was aggressive. <laughs> How about to say? I <laughs> <laughs> I'll he took that bet and take some money from you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. Hold on. I was just trying to be. <laughs> All right. At least he understands. Okay. All right. Let's go <laughs> on to our next topic here. Um. So we got a one gotta go right now. Um. Let me get the uh, image up here. Dragon Ball. Let's get out of here. All right. One gotta go. Tifa Lockhart. Makoto or 2B? Goodbye, oh, Tifa. Man. Bye. Oh, my Bye, goodness. Man, oh, man. Yo, yeah, you know what's Tifa. wild? Are you, you talking about Makoto from P5? Yeah. P5. All right, so let's, yeah, go around, let, let, let's go around the room real quick. Let's see what everybody's opinion on this is. Jammer, what, what do you think? See, I'm biased because I, I have no uh, background at all with Tifa. So she got to go. Oh, you make me suck. How dare I'm you? Sorry. Uh, okay. Um... Uh, not Blake. Uh, Souls. Wow. <laughs> mm, this is tough. Like I don't. I ain't even played near Automata, but to be, you know, how she get all that in the jeans, but <laughs> so I have to go to be. <laughs> so I have to go to be just because I ain't. I don't know nothing about her. Oh man, you hate to see it. Uh, <laughs> Niarly. Makoto Nijima. Bye bye. <gasps> really. Oh. I, I actually do not like Makoto Nijima. Okay. I think we had this debate last stream. And, okay, uh, so yeah, since you I don't like her, let, let me put it in with somebody you do like. Let's instead let's let's instead go with Futaba. Um. Uh, yeah, I'll probably Futaba too. Oh no, God, God damn. damn! No saving these. God damn, Haru. Uh, yeah. Haru. Haru. <laughs> my wife. What? Oh my. My God. wife. My wife. <laughs> Yeah, the chat saying goodbye to um, Makoto too. Uh, Bob, what you think? Um, I never liked Tifa, and I don't know much about 2B, but I don't like her design, so either one of those. If I had to pick one, I guess Tifa. So like I said, I could like 2B, but I never played Nier Automata. Wow, really? I thought you did. Play the first Nier. Hate it so much, I have no desire to play Nier Automata. <laughs> <laughs> as far, okay, all I'm going to say, I don't have any opinion on Nier Automata, right? Maybe I'm defending in, in Pelvic's honor. Who the f*** knows? All I'm saying is that you didn't like Zestiria, but didn't you like Basiria? You mean the one with um, Velvet, right? Yes. Uh, Above average Tales game, but I eventually dropped it. And, oh, no. All right, uh, Blake, what'd you think? Oh, it's finally my time. All right. Yeah. So <clears throat> now, uh, now let me tell you about how Makoto Nijima can crush my head with her thighs. All right. <laughs> oh, now, God. Tifa, nice. Tifa got them fists, bro. She can beat my meat. What's 2B? Oh, my God. 2B is blind, bro. <laughs> she got the blindfold on. She got the swords. Listen, whenever I see 2B, I don't hear people talking about her character, just her. <laughs> All right. People talk, about how, on your face. people talk about how Tubi, how Tubi's got more pixels in her ass than Ocarina of Time does, or something like that. And I'm like, that's wild, bro. I'm not a Tubi guy. Never have been. Never will be. That's just my personal take. Uh, yeah, she gotta go. Also, you can't fist Android chicks. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's the same thing about that anime. <laughs> Ultraman. Oh, Aren't they all anime chicks? Uh, Gab. Mm -hmm. uh, goodbye, Tifa. Man, oh man. Dear, I think everybody. Tifa got kicked out the most. <laughs> no, she didn't. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Riku? Oh, my God. Now, y'all know I love me some Makoto. She's safe. 
Big facts. <laughs> okay. And I, I think I'm. This might be this might be a little lazy of me, but I think I'm gonna go the Souls route. Sadly, I do not know anything about Makoto. And kind of what uh, Blake was saying, the only time you really hear anyone talk about to um, be anything, characterize anything overall, they always talk about that booty. You know, they really <laughs> I mean, don't they hear do anything. that with Makoto too. Mm, oh, no. Makoto's awakening. No, we, awakening we, we, and plus, we can at least have a discussion about Makoto's characterization to some degree, you know? And we can't, I don't think we can do that with two. I, I'm not saying we can't do that with 2B, but from what the people in the community make it seem, you can't do it with 2B. You probably can, that. but they're making they're making it seem like you can't. Mm-hmm. Oh, the That's overarching cool. story. Then I don't never, I really never hear about 2B from, you know, a, a character. I'm hearing, I'm seeing some people in the comments kind of say that, but. Like I said, man, for the most part, all you guys to talk about is her booty. So, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to have to choose her. Until I play the game and I see what she's about, I'm going to have to choose her. Yeah, Bro, the comments is cool, the first time grows. I'm actually hearing. Yeah, exactly. About her the personality. Comment, we might have Yo, to. She grows in the game. Time. It's cool. Yeah, okay. She grows or her ass grows? She grows? Oh, Say okay. her ass grows. Okay. <laughs> so, <fuck>. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so first of all, we ain't getting rid of Tifa. Not to ask first of all, all right? <laughs> Tifa's like, mm, man, you think, okay? She, she's the best, all right? Now, between Tubi and Makoto, okay. So, I, I ain't gonna lie. It's just like you guys said. Whenever I see Tubi on the timeline on my Twitter, it's just her ass hanging out. Uh, <laughs> but I ain't gonna lie. It's an amazing ass, all right? We, we, we're not gonna, we're not gonna uh, uh, shit on that. Um, but Makoto, I I really don't have any problems with Makoto at all. Even as a character, I thought she was pretty um she was pretty good. Um but between these two, if I had to get rid of one. If I had to get rid of one, I'm gonna go with 2B. I was like in my head, I'm like, yeah. he's not gonna get rid of a person. <laughs> Regardless. Oh <laughs> uh, no. Nah. <laughs> And the Tifa ain't going nowhere. I saw this from I saw this a mile away. <laughs> uh yeah, but like yeah, it's just, like, to me it's fine. It's just like yeah, it's like you guys said. I don't really care about her personality too much. Just all the stuff I've seen of her on Twitter and message boards and whatnot. Yeah, Makoto, not just because she's a Persona character. I just like I like her. Uh, she's, okay. she's pretty cool. Like, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, those are our one gotta go. Anybody who, who picked I, Tifa, you're in, you're insane. I got a question. I know. I, I want to do. This. Because you, you you swapped out Makoto for Futaba for Niarly. Mm. Let me do that to you. I'm going to swap out Tubi for Emma. Let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. Bye, Emma. What we got, what we got going on? What we got going on you now? You just made this super easy. Uh, Bye, Emma. Oh, no, wow. No, Whoa. We're, talking we're not talking about for you, Bob. This is only for Shadow. Oh, just like man. how you did for Niarly. It was only for Niarly. This is only for Shadow. Um... <laughs> It's, you know what? You know what? This is an easy choice. It took it takes me all of five seconds. Get the fuck out, Makoto. Ooh, oh, oh man, oh man. <laughs> oh dang. I'm sorry, Makoto. You out. Emma is the best. And it's gotta be between Emma and Tifa. One gotta go between those two for me. Emma, I'm it's sorry. I love you, but you gotta go. Tifa, Tifa, Tifa. She has home home field advantage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh man. All right. All right. Interesting. All right. All right, fair enough, guys. I thought that was a pretty good one. Ask, go uh, we gotta have ask Lady Pelvic this question. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think she's gonna choose Tifa, but we'll see. Better not choose Tifa. She's crazy. Uh, if she heard you chose Tubi, she's gonna choose Tifa in spite of you. <laughs> <laughs> see the chat saying who's Emma? Exactly. Oof. Oh wow! <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> oh wow! I was wondering the same. Thing. I ain't gonna lie. The NPCs <laughs> in CS3 is looking better than Emma. <laughs> What you mean? Yeah, I can't. Hey, I've seen a few of them. He has a point. Nah. I I'll see a bow. Shut up. <laughs> I don't agree with that one. No. I mean, I don't know how she is yet in CS3, but. You guys, off too. you guys are terrible. <laughs> you guys are absolutely terrible. All right, so um, we're going to move on to our final segment here. We're just going on to Discord questions right about now. So let me get that up real quick. You want to talk about Stadia? 
We're not gonna talk about the last two Wii U games. We're not gonna talk about that Haji Mari no Kizuki, baby. <laughs> oh my God, you guys just really want to go in on those topics? We'll talk about some couple of screenshots of Digimon Survive. <laughs> hey. Bro, we ain't gonna talk about SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Shut up! Yeah, shut, up shut up! Shut up! Shut up! SpongeBob. <laughs> oh my God! But if y'all really, who y'all got something to say about Stadia? I mean, I guess I'm the only one that has something to say. I'm not saying well, we'll have Battle for Bikini Bottom. I was just going to say, y'all think Game Pass going to come to Stadia? I think that would be really beneficial. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, all I got to say is it works, and streaming is the future, whether you like it or not. Damn. I don't know if I'm yeah. ever going to get that. I, I, I wouldn't get that. Uh, even though I got godly internet, I don't think I'm going to waste my time with that. <laughs> but like, I do. You don't realize the convenience until you have that convenience. But I do Maybe realize that streaming shit. streaming is the future, and I think I've embraced that digital is also my future, at least. Getting all digital, mm -hmm. I don't care about physical. I was just telling my brother the other day, like, somebody can come into my house and literally take all my PS4 games. I would not care. Yeah, same, thought, honestly. Yeah, you, can't, you can't have this copy what of Cold Steel 3, but... Uh... Your, what if the PS4 were to go out of service <coughs> and you can't download your games anymore? Mm. That can happen with just about... Anything, anything, yeah. Netflix, like, if you do like that, really, I'm, I'm gonna be fighting for my collection of Dead or Alive Extreme Three, to be honest. Oh, yeah, what were like, you saying? <laughs> no, I was saying, like, that happens, your games are gone for good. Well, like, like even physical games, I can buy them again, yeah. But even if I the mean, console is offline, you could still play your digital games, yeah. But what if your console breaks? Oh, if it breaks, it's tied to the account, so and I can just down I can just download. PS4, Every game takes up like 50 gigabytes. So assuming you have the terabyte model, <laughs> you probably can't hold all your games on. Uh, actually, That's you know what? J JRPGs don't take that much. Don't take that much um space. JRPGs are like max like 30 something gigs. No, super big. I don't think all you gotta do is go on the PSN store and download that hoe. Yeah, yeah. yeah if you play, if you're playing one game at a time, you. No, well, but like what I'm saying is like because the publisher they can take the game down at any time for any reason. Oh, so okay. That's what that no, we, I understand. Money back. I understand that, but how? Like when you look at the percentage of how many times that's happened, it is very, very low, my guy. It's like very two low. games I know yeah, of, like yeah. Scott, Scott Pilgrim's The World and Marvel's Capcom. Those are the only uh, things I know. The... Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a good it's point, low. but it's like it's, there's just this, this, yeah, there's so many other. Factors that, I think that percentage is way too low to be even considered. Yeah. If it was, if it was at least like let's say forty percent of the time that was happening, I would say you have a point. Yeah. Because that's way too high. But like we're talking about like single, probably even lower than the single digits here in comparison to every game that's on, the, you know, the store. Okay. Is Stadia still doing well? Like. But I would say both of them. I would say what, both of them have a, have an issue. Uh, like, if, if someone comes to your house and steals all your games, I would say that's the equivalent of someone hacking your account and taking, you know, every game you've purchased on your download list. It's I mean, a, that's the equivalent. I mean, I'm, I'm not ready to go all digital yet. Just put it that way. <laughs> understandable. I completely see, understand. Uh, Stadia, even if it's doing well now or not, it, it's kind of irrelevant just because the real full. I don't know people get mad at me when I say the full version, but at the end of the day, right now it has literally like 20% of the features that it should have. The thing is literally in like a beta. So whenever it releases next year or this year, I guess we could say, that's when we can really start looking at this thing, checking numbers. But at that time, it's free. Anyone can give it a try. And I feel like once you give it a try, more games come on it. You're going to appreciate this this uh, convenience. And it's not going to be adopted for some years. Even Reggie, Phil's, May, he says... 10 years and i'm saying around the same time but it's going to gradually be like more same with digital downloads people were saying this whole thing for digital downloads people were saying this whole thing for netflix whenever blockbuster blockbuster was laughing at these at netflix where's <laughs> blockbuster now you got a point i always think that uh, i always thought that stadia like a year from now or a year from release people are going to be like oh this is really good <laughs> it's just growing with pains the, right yeah now. whenever the youtube integration comes in and but see, I don't even ride the Stadia boat. I'm more game stream in general um, because I don't know how Google's gonna do. But we have X Cloud, PlayStation Now is with that price drop. People, dude, so many people like it. Like they they have around a million subscribers for PlayStation Now, and it was such a slow climb. I'm, this is, I'm it's, a, it's all this is gonna be slow. 
I'm gonna say this about Google Stadia. If Google Stadia wants to succeed, in my opinion, there's two <laughs> things they need to do. One, which is gonna be very hard, get that lag, get get that lag and latency shit, you know, together. You, you over here advertising latency. this 4K six? They said they can do 4K 60. Are you getting 4K 60? I am. It's you upscale are? 4K, and then but but see, it's for it's it's based off of the game developers. So Farming Simulator is a native 4K. Destiny 2 is a upscale 4K. But at the end of the day, I am seeing 4K. And it's and and there's barely any lag. When I Ethernet, yeah, there's none. And then when I use browser, I don't I don't feel it's like a point. It's a couple, you know. There's there's gonna be. Uh, here's the, here's like the, a point. Here, here's point the thing. That's one of there. that's one of those it doesn't affect me type of things. I understand that there's definitely people out there that this isn't the case for, but. If we had a percentage, if we could get a factual percentage on how many people do have lag, I feel that that percentage far outweighs the people that aren't getting lag. So That's I'll one. Say this. Oh, you can continue. My bad. Two. Come on. Exclusives. I definitely do think that Google Stadia, to some degree, needs to have some type of reason for you to leave your the consoles that we have right now to go and get a. <clears throat> And Not start playing are. it that way. It's true. It's true. And that's, that's, and that's the thing. And, 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 oh, they're working on exclusives? Yeah. They, and, they, they, they have, they're setting go. up their own studios. And Glyph okay, right well, now is one of them. Is an exclusive right now. So that's the thing. I feel like we were, you know, like I said, time. Like this is going to take a while to really develop. And from there, <clears> then we can really be a judge, right? It's way too early. It's way too early. Un understandable. Like I said, as long as they do those two things, I think that they have a bright future. They can mm -hmm. get those two things and do it successfully. And I, last point, if, if everyone else is done, Jim Ryan, when he had like a statement about streaming, first off, Sony is doubling down this next gen on streaming. And he says, he was like, out of the feedback we get, the majority of it does not uh, involve latency. This is PS Now. So. Okay. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. Um, did we want to talk about the two, the two Wii U ports? The, re the reason I don't really care about that is only because, like, we all know what it's probably going to be is Xenoblade Chronicles X. And... No. Uh, wow, really? Eh, no? I don't know about that. I, I, I'd say it's too soon for Chronicles X. I'd say that's something we're not going to see until next year. I thought it was too soon after. for Tokyo Mirage Sessions, but that's happening. Well, more so just Monolith is kind of busy. I think it's probably going to be a Mario 3D Land and then maybe Wonderful 101. Um, that or one of the Zelda games. Pikmin 3. Pippin 3, oh yeah, that exists too. And I hope Can we get a Star Fox, please? Star Fox, yeah. yeah. I would love Chronicles X because we'd have every Xenoblade uh, game I, on the console. I mean, why would it be Star Fox? Because that game was received, like, super poorly. If they fixed the controls with Star Fox, it was yeah. actually a pretty solid game. Just the controls are what held it back. <clears throat> like, like, with Kid Icarus. Hmm, he has a point. Okay. Good point. Um, what was the other, um... Topic that anybody else want to discuss? I forgot what. That, that Haji Mari no Kisaki, baby. Okay, uh, okay but like. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you don't want to talk about it, you just yeah. can't even talk about that, though, without yeah. spoilers. Yeah. That is true. All <laughs> right. So let's move on to the Discord questions. Once we get that out, we good. All right. So let me pull those up real quick. If I can do it, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Let me see. It's going to be two seconds. All right. And that's the wrong one. Good job. <clears throat> All right. So first question comes from the hooded person, Hoodley. What's your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card and or archetype? Ooh, can I go favorite first? Favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card, Buster Blade or archetype, Black Wings. Okay. Mm. Say uh, Arm Dragon level seven and archetype, Ghost Drakes. I don't know what the fucking archetype is, but uh, my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card is uh, that Luster Soldier, baby. Yeah, I'm classic. <laughs> we, we now, tell. wait a minute. Black Luster Soldier or Black Luster Soldier Ooh, Envoy Black of Lusters. the beginning? No, the Black Luster Soldier. Just the Black Luster Soldier. There's like 10 of them now. Really. Yeah. yeah. Well, the, ori <laughs> the original, my guy. The, <laughs> the very first one. Not all of those crazy variations. Which is, I'm looking at their variations right now on Google Images. They they are some really badass variations. But I'm just gonna go with the, I'm just gonna go with the original because I'm old school. See, uh, I'm not a Yu-Gi-Oh guy, but uh, I'd smash Dark Magician Girl. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I like I didn't see this coming. What about Dark Magician Girl Apple and Lemon? 
Hold up, hold up. I think lemons up, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to look this up. I don't I don't have a favorite card, my favorite archetype is Cyber Dragons. Nice. Oh, nice. Nice. Uh, let's see. Anybody else? Is there a lemon? Hold on, let's see. What's this man? Uh, what is, um, uh, Old Lisa Tormentor. Okay. What's okay. Name, Jim? Old school. Which one? Old Lisa Tormentor. Oh, oh Obelisk. Obelisk. What, like is that Zodiac. the guy with the, with every card was a different piece of his body? That's oh, Exodia. No, that's, 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 that's Exodia. Yeah. That's my, that's my favorite one. Exodia? Mad old school. Jesus. Yeah. Did they ever do that again with a card? Destiny board. No. Oh yeah. Dang, I was gonna say. Hank Zodia I, I, has his own archetype. He's still a goat. Yeah, and there's like a couple of cards that you can get an instant win, for the most part. Which I think like Vic, what Victory like? Dragon is one. I think I, my my favorite one is like like old school when I first started playing Yu-Gi-Oh because I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh like crazy back in the day. I was the king of games at my school. Um, <laughs> 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 Uh, I pretty, nah, seriously, I was. I, I was. Listen, I will watch anybody in, in Yu-Gi-Oh right about now. I thought you were saying about Pokemon uh, too, yeah. but uh, we ain't seen that yet. Listen, Hold listen, up. I, you listen. said you'd watch anyone in Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, I'll no, watch anybody. Man. In don't bust up that deck. You mean then or now? Because if you're talking now, listen now. If you don't use any X seeds or links or anything like that, I'm gonna watch you. Oh, I can still do that. You got uh, <laughs> Legacy of the Duelist on Switch. You can do this. Bro. Time. <laughs> Bro, uh, Shadow losing all types of money. Actually, nah, I'm not. I don't have. I don't have that on Switch though. Oh, exclusive. It's actually getting an update <laughs> with extra cards too, so I would get on it. It's really good. Uh, I like Summon Skull, um, Blacklist of Soldier and Void the Beginning, and Blue Eyes White Dragon. Those are my favorites. Uh, Skull had a weird screen. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, our next question is: Well, Gab, we need to ask you for your favorite Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yeah, I don't really, I don't know. I I don't really play Yu-Gi-Oh. Okay, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. You didn't even watch the anime? I don't remember. That was way back in the day, bro. Man, oh man. Alright. So um Ace Breaker 7 asks, what are your ex expectations for PS5 and the Xbox Series X? Hmm. Uh Jammer, um, you got a, a thing on this? Or Neal? What are my expectations? Yeah. Um Um <laughs> I I'll tell you what I'm expecting, but it's not what. I'm... Oh, are we talking about like games or like just in general? In, in general. general, it could be both. I'm I mean, expecting I'm, ex I'm, I'm expecting it too. to be just a slightly more powerful version of the PS4. Or I guess not slightly, significantly, but I don't really yeah, think if it has ray tracing, Sony's like be... marketing or like network is going to get any better. Okay. Alright. Uh, anybody else? <coughs> uh, oh god. Hold on, Riku. Wait, anybody else uh, besides uh, Riku? I'm a I, think, uh, I, think, uh, I think it's going to be one of the best console launches, for, uh, one best generation console launches, because I think they're uh, going to be focusing on first party titles, and so I think we're going to have the most uh, first party titles at launch. Okay. But wait a minute, didn't, um, didn't Xbox say they're not going to have any exclusives for a long time? Well, yeah, they said they're I think they're gonna fail. On the Xbox One. Oh, Xbox One. Uh, yeah, all like, their games are going now. to work. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, see, that's I, the I thing. No I don't know how long it's gonna, gonna last. Because that's gonna be dumb. Oh, how do you? Yeah. How do you buy a next generation console when you're gonna be playing last gen stuff? Because it has like, to run on a One X. Especially when all their exclusives are also coming to PC. I don't know how. They, yeah, I don't know, man. Um. Anybody else's um thoughts on Series X and PS Five? Listen, if they have SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Shut Bottom, up. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Okay, Battle please. for Bikini Bottom too. Bro, I will play Battle for Bikini. Bro, if I can run it at eight K, fam. Bro, oh, see, this guy knows. Okay, does anybody here think that the PS Five is going to be backward compatible with every PlayStation system? Hey. Uh, That's what I was going to say. I'd say as over as time, as maybe not all of them. Not all of them. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're talking about probably PS Four for sure. Like it. Everyone's believing the rumors, like, yeah, it's going to be fully backwards compatible because of that, like, thing. I'm like, no. When Sony says that, they're going to make it so that they can release the games digitally as PS2 classics for, like, 15 bucks. But it's... 
Uh, yeah, because that's what people were saying to me from the beginning. Like they, they, like they were saying that you just pop in your PS2, PS1, PS3 games into the PS5. No, or that, like that that is not gonna happen. Dang, that's this hell no. That you know how much emulation below where you have this, to have in that thing to do same, that. This is the same Sony that killed backwards compatibility for the PS3, and then immediately mm. start HD collection. What if they mm. do that again and just make a certain model right out the gate and then stop it? <laughs> nah, it's not happening. Then that will be the best model. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I feel like they're gonna trickle it out throughout the, Listen, the lifespan. They, they're not dumb anymore. But then again, they did say they want the install base <clears throat> to like really catch up, like fast. Yeah. yeah. So well, I mean, if the, if the PS5 is fully backwards compatible, I'll buy it day one. But if not, I'm probably gonna wait. We'll throw this in. If you still got your old games, that stuff's gonna go up in value exponentially. If it's well, fully I, backwards compatible. I got Rule of Rose. Holy crap. All right. Yeah, okay. We'll be playing Rule Rose on my PS5. Okay. With trophies. Well, are they gonna have trophy support? This they just gonna. I I don't think. Like not if not if it's physically. If it's digitally, maybe. Okay. Because all they gotta do is emulators, right? Just fucking emulate it. You know? I think the emulate emulation is like pretty tough to do. I thought that name was familiar. Rule of Rose. That's a really expensive game. <laughs> yeah. Uh. All right. Uh. Riku. <clears throat> Keep this short and sweet, my guy. <laughs> <sighs> all right, all right. I'm short and sweet. Okay. So first of all, let's talk about that controller, DualShock Five. This like really so, uh, good going to the controllers, going, not the consoles. Story. Oh my god, man! I mean, you said <laughs> <laughs> he said short and sweet. <laughs> Damn it! All right, all right. We back with compatibility, right? And uh, then, we're, then we're good. Honestly. And just just give me a good ass battery life for the DualShock Five. Please, just a minimum of twenty five hours. If 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 what uh, Blake is over here jacking off the Wii U controller that has <laughs> eighty hours of battery life, mm -hmm. do we at least get twenty five minimum? All right, mm. jeez. All right, that's 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 the super 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 short and sweet answer. Okay, yeah, practice compatibility in twenty five hours in my DualShock Five. Mm. I've been hearing some things, so I'm gonna just leave it at that. It's, 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 the reason why I'm like hesitant is because of the the features that they're adding, that haptic trigger, the, all that other stuff. But I feel like it's gonna. But they, they like I, said, be, I think yeah. they know that the PS4, you know, people have uh, problems with that. So I think they would. Uh, I would hope that they, you know, keep that in mind. Or at least make a two. At least make a DualShock Five Pro and do it there. All right, fair enough. Now you want pro enough. versions of controllers? I was like, imagine, I mean, imagine paying for extra battery life in a controller. <laughs> I mean, what all these pro controls we basically are. True. All right. Uh, all right. So our next question, I'm, I'm going to try to move through these pretty fast. Uh, let's see. Are you guys willing to play the Dragon Quest Hero spinoff games? Has anybody played those? Like yeah. I, want, I want to play those. I heard they were, were they very fun. Like the yeah, Musou games, you mean? Yeah. yeah the Musou games. I played the oh. first one. It was pretty good. I want to, I just haven't gotten around to it. Yeah, one's good. Two looked real good. I didn't play it though. I'm kind of two. Sad. I played the demo and it felt literally like one. There was no <laughs> yeah. big differences. I just wanted that dual wielding, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. And that was from Leo the Camara. My bad. Um, Otaku Life ask um, ex expirations expectations. I'm, I'm assuming for future Trails games. Like the new one coming out in the summer. Oh my God, Riku! Why are you breathing? Wait, wait when you said new one, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Is, is he talking about Hajime no Kingdom? Yeah, he's talking yes. about that one. And oh, the yeah. few other future games. Um, honestly, just I would say work on balancing. That's mm. all I. That's all I can say, really. If you can get the, if you can get it to be at a nice end game balance then honestly you're fine with me i think the games are balanced it's that they're not they're not ba well maybe they're not balancing for like you know nightmare i guess that's what you're saying because you can uh, easily uh, abuse uh, nightmare right if you should you can to. the later features in combination it, they can be uh abused and broken but the, the only thing as far as from a gameplay standpoint that i would like them to add or change is the ability to move your character to a certain location and then you know do an attack let's say tell reen to attack he, he may 
let's say you tell Reen to go and attack, but there's an AOE about to hit this, uh, you know, area. If you could tell Reen to like uh, go to the enemy and then run behind him and then attack there, I would like that instead of you know Reen deciding where he you know lands when he initiates the attack exactly. because the enemies can do it. The enemies can you know walk to the left and then shoot an attack if they want to. Okay, yeah, that's that. true. I see what you mean. Okay, I never thought about that. That's uh, interesting. Yeah, you probably should be able to do that. Yeah. All right. So, as far as tweaks, yeah, I would say that one. Uh, anybody else? Bob? Do you got any ex- expectations for the latest Trails game? Well, of course, Steel 3 is anything to go by. The series is going to be looking good. Even though, um, of course, a lot of people in Japan had issues with Code Steel 4, but I don't think I'll have those issues. Mm-hmm. And... I'm just hoping that, you know, the problem with having a series so long running is that it's easy to um, lose focus of the overall plot, uh, characters not being as important, so on. So I hope this series doesn't fall into that trap. I but if, they, if, like, if they've had planned this out, like Riku said, for like a decade or whatever, then I'm going to assume, assume they'll be fine. I, w- I would say with them taking this new... Um, you know, new to them now. I'm not saying they're the first ones to do it. But this uh, new way of storytelling in regards to, apparently, they're going to have, what is it, three to, f- I think there was three different story paths. And kind of like, uh, you know, in Coastal 3, when you can, you know, when you were going through dungeons, you can swap between the different squads. Apparently, you can do that in the, in this story mode, where, let's say you're on Chapter 2 with this squad of characters, you can swap to another story mode at any point and start moving mm-hmm. through their story. Kind of like Sonic Adventure, if you want to use that as an example. Mm, Do adventure? you think your yeah. choices will matter in that regard, though? They probably like, won't have... They probably like future won't games, have. of course, because that could get messy if they do that. I think it's just showing uh, you know, different the same... Perspectives. Yeah, different perspectives all leading to the same conclusion. Okay, so I, okay, I thought you meant, like, this could alter the story or whatever. No, 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 no. Like I said, look at Sonic Adventure for an example, as far as, like, it's just a different perspective, but there's they're still showing the same story, just you know, different squads going through that story. Okay. So is is a good way with, with them how many characters did they say that playable characters did they say we're gonna have in this game? Over fifty? Yeah, that's ridiculous. With that many amount. with that many characters, I can understand them taking this uh approach when it comes to make like you said, making sure that certain certain characters don't get left behind from a uh character development and characterization standpoint. Alrighty. Um, Alright, so we gotta do two more Discord quick. There's a lot because we're, we're not gonna get through all this. We're gonna take two more and we're gonna call it. Uh, so, Riku Key 2 asks, which I think we, we kind of answer this one like almost every podcast maybe. If you could port or remake a Japan-only JRPG, what would it be? Hmm. Mm. Uh, either Ooh. Tales of Rebirth or Tales of Destiny Director's Cup. Ah, you took my. Uh, <laughs> ooh, I, I, what you saying that I got my. It's uh, a I'm port and it. localize like at the same time. No, he said it. Uh, port or remake. Well, I'm I'm guessing that's what he means. Yeah. 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 So like bring over essentially. Basically. Honestly, like any of the PS2 era SRW games, those count. Uh, yeah, I guess they would count. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, never been outside of Japan. I was like, licensing that would probably stop that. <laughs> uh, Diallo, you got a game? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say the some of the Black Matrix games. Black Matrix. Yeah, it's like a like it's none of the games have ever been released, and none of them have been patched either. But it's like an SRPG series with like dark religious themes, kind of like Megaton. That sounds weird as hell. Like I've seen, I've seen gameplay of it, and I've read about it. It looks cool. Like, okay. Apparently, apparently, we were actually supposed to get one on the Dreamcast in 1999, but that was during the same time that people were saying Pokemon was satanic. So that's <laughs> hey, that was, hey, that was that was my grandma. I was about to say that was my grandma. Bruh, Mom. That was I was gonna, oh I was gonna tell a story about when uh, Shadow, because that was me. She burned all of my Pokemon. Like okay. <laughs> I'm gonna start, start playing Yu Gi Oh! And then I, I trolled her and was like, Look, it. mom, this one is called, it's called the Summon Skull. <laughs> oh, <laughs> What's the name of that series, Gnarly? Want to look it up? 
Yo, Why when I told somebody this is beta, gamma, and uh, uh, delta. <laughs> oh Jesus, guys! <laughs> like I want, I want to go back in time to when people were doing that and just say, "Here, you should check out this game called Shit Megami Tensei." Mm -mm. <laughs> mm. They have giant green like... penises riding golden chariots. <laughs> Leave oh, them alone. Man. You probably like tie a Jack Frost plushie to a cross and burn it or something. <laughs> uh, if I, I think I would want, I, I don't know, I think I would want um, Namco Cross Capcom. Ooh. Oh yeah, uh, that'd be fine. Um, I would want. Oh, that's one game I would want. Um, ah, it's one on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember what Endless it is Frontier? though. That would be good, but we kind of got it already. We got, we got, we got like um, fan translation, so I'm good with that. <laughs> Um, oh, what's this called? Um, Soul Trigger. I want that officially released in English. I don't know if you guys know that's a PSP game. Oh uh, yeah, I have. Yeah, I have that downloaded. I haven't got a chance to play it. Yeah. I've seen you stream. Yeah, it was. Um, it was really good, but like I don't think the translation was done. They kind of dropped it, so that kind of like hurt me. Oh, actually, okay, okay. Um, speaking of PSP games, my second choice is Persona Two Eternal Punishment on PSP. All right. Oh yeah, like, remake. That would be there's great. There's a there's a fan translation going on for it, but it's been stuck in translation for like six years, so I wouldn't expect it anytime soon, if ever. I forgot they made one. They made that on uh, PSP. Yeah, but we never got it. Yeah, hey, since this. Bow took mine, I'm probably. I was yeah, I was gonna say Tales of Destiny or Rebirth as well. Uh, but I don't know. I just throw one from the PSP as well. <laughs> Bleach Heat the Soul Six or Seven. Oh my God. <laughs> That anime. I actually do. Yes, oh wait, I, I actually do have one more. I'm gonna say, um, since this game never got an official English release date, I mean English release at all, like not even on the Vita. Like I don't know what people are talking about when they said this game did come out. I don't know what it is. Um, Tales of Hearts on the DS. Oh yeah, that's the one I want because I wanted to play that one too. DS version is honestly a tiny bit better in some way. Well, yeah, no, 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 not Tales of Hearts. Tales of Innocence. I think I was. Thinking. Yeah, the Vita um, remake of Innocence as well would be great. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because, you know, Tales of Hearts was garbage on the um, Vita, which never... It really you know, was. It really was. <laughs> it wasn't garbage. Oh, it was really? kind of yeah. subpar. I heard yeah. it was, like, mediocre. It absolutely Super. was. I, I think know, the freaking <clears throat> Path of the World games was better. Or, yeah. The world um, yeah, um, Radiant Mythology, I think? Mythology, yeah. yeah, yeah. Tales, Tales of the World. Yeah, Tales of the World. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, all right, so... Uh, yeah, I, I never got to go. Um, okay. But yeah, that, that was actually going to be my answer. I was waiting. But it was Tales of Innocence Tower on the Vita. I wanted that um, translated. Mm -hmm. if, they, if they brought it, just bring out the Vita version, make a Switch version, and just throw it on Steam and PS4 for, for the hell of it. Yeah. Then Namco, what are you doing? You know, that's <laughs> apparently, the, isn't that, you know what? I'm going to leave that little point. <laughs> Next one is uh, my Tensei 1, the PlayStation 1 version. I want that one. And uh, what was the third one? What was the third one? I can't remember what the third one was. So I'm gonna just go with those. Devil two. Summoner. Huh? That'd be that'd be my third choice. Actually, no, it'd be my second choice in <clears throat> Eternal Punishment on PSP. <clears throat> Devil Summoner. I thought that one came out. No, Devil, it's Devil, a Devil whole Spider series. Noah, and then Soul Hackers. The only one we haven't gotten is the original Devil Summoner. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm thinking about Soul Hackers. I think that's what. Oh, Tales of Fantasia X. Yes, the Not a Kitty Dungeon. That'd be great. Oh, oh yes. Already in Mythology oh, Three, yeah. just because it has like ninety party. Yes, members. Tales of Fantasia X. Okay, yeah, yeah, that one. That's the PSP remake, right? Yep. Yeah. Definitely. It came with um the original Tales of Fantasia plus that one with the two twins. Man, oh man. With the costume oh, changes. Fuck. <laughs> All right, all right. Um, let's take our on one more question. Uh, I think we answered this one last podcast. I don't remember, but um, Dean, D Dean, Dean Dragon. I'm sorry. Wow, I can't read. Dean Dragon asks favorite persona slash demon from Megaton. Good one. We answered this one. Mara. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. You are what you eat. I'm not even joking either. Hey. I really like Mar. Why? <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> Funny. Oh my god! I think I like Black Frost. Are we? Are we wait, what's what the question? Uh, favorite demon, Sas Persona. Not even Pyrojack. Yeah, I'm gonna leave Pyrojack alone. 
<laughs> Spooky <laughs> ghost <laughs> man. Uh, my favorite is uh, Metatron. Oh, oh good one. Great yeah. choice. All right, fair enough. Fair enough. He said what, Bob? Wow. I said great choice. <laughs> Yeah, mine, like mine is mine is Satan. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. I like Joseph from Satan. Do you like the old Satan design or the Apocalypse one though? Well, I like both of them, but I prefer his original design. Okay, mine's kind of okay. basic. I always like the chick. Oh, how do you say her name? Uh, Yaxini. Yaxini. Yeah. Yaxini. Which one is that one? She's kind of the she's two like, sword girl, and she's blue. Yeah. Oh, okay. I know which one you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It was either her or that girl, like in black, that always just sits down. I can't. I think she holds like a, a crystal ball. Crystal. The only person that comes to mind is Scotty. <clears throat> I don't think she has a crystal ball though. Oh, I think it's her. I'm trying uh, to think of um of the of that one. What was it? Um, the the other uh, 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 uh there was like? DLC. There was DLC five. Um. Uh, Izanagi, Ma Magatsu Izanagi Picaro. I was just about to say, uh, uh, Magatsu yeah. Izanagi Picaro. Mm. Yes, yeah, that was my second thing. I Magatsu love that Izanagi thing, bro. Magatsu Izanagi Picaro. I gotta look at Izanagi. I just, I just, I just like the way he says it. <laughs> bro, <laughs> like freaking Joker, sentence. Joker's starting to throw up bars, bro, when he say that. Yeah, it's a whole goddamn sentence for that one. He's not. Oh, that's the one? Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah that's Magatsu Izanagi Picaro. Oh, okay. I ain't really it's well. DLC. They like was it in, too. Was it in Persona 4? Um, no. Or was it I Arena? Magasu Igisanagi himself is, well, that's a spoiler. Yeah, but so not, the, not the Picaro <laughs> version. That was Persona 5. Yeah, the Picaro versions were just DLC. They weren't, like, from anything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Alrighty, I think that we're gonna end it right there because uh, some of us got some things to do. Can't go through all the Discord questions. I apologize for that. There's a, there's a lot. Oh man, there is a lot. Okay, so we're gonna end it right there. We're gonna go with the outros right now. So uh, go ahead, Gab. Thanks, guys, for coming out and chatting with us. I hope you guys had fun. Um, you guys know where to find me, so uh, we have another great podcast and start the year off strong. Alright, yeah, uh, Riku. <sighs> no. Peace out, people. Peace out. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Keep it short and sweet. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, Souls. Thank you all for coming through. Great start of the new year for the HBMP podcast. Uh, yeah, my name is Souls. You can check me out at Soul Zero Souls. And can we catch you on YouTube? Yeah, maybe. Oh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe he says. <laughs> I'll think uh, about it. <laughs> uh, Bob? Thanks for having me on as always. Like I said earlier, you guys can find me on YouTube at Bowser Kerga. I just did a video discussing whether a story or gameplay is more important than JRPG, so check that out. And my next video is going to be the dreaded ranking the Final Fantasy games, so oh, I'm preparing oh, myself, oh, I'm preparing oh, myself oh, for the anchor. The numbered ones. <laughs> the numbered ones. Okay. Mm. I better see Final Fantasy 15 well be uh, below, like, just at the bottom of that list. If you know me, you already know where that's going to be. Okay, good. Good, good. Better be at the bottom. And Final Fantasy 7 better be at the top. <laughs> Bruh, top five. No spoilers. Bru Bruh, yeah, oh, 13 wow. is number one. Ah. All right, go ahead, Blake. Uh, yes, it's been a blast. As always, y'all can find me at West Town HD. Um, I'm going to regret doing this, but uh, I'm going to post a link to a tweet in the chat here. Um, my friend said, or I told my friend that if you got 50 retweets on this, I'd play Resident Evil 2 in first person. Um, I'm going to regret doing this, but I mean, hey, if you want to see me suffer, retweet and then we'll, uh, we'll get that stream going. Um, Kakarot is GOAT. Uh, Battle Freaky Bomb is going to be great. We didn't mention Fairy Tale, but that's coming out in March. Uh, it's also going to be great. And uh, yeah, thanks for having me. All right, all right. And um, our two guests, go ahead, Jam. Thank you all for having me. Um, how, I think, what is this, like third time I've been on here? Just about. Just about that. Yeah, it was cool. Huh. I didn't realize this was your first one, so great way to start the, the, the new year. Um, check me out, Jammer. I put out this video, go, uh, God Eater, Code Vein, are they connected? I put in so much work. I need y'all to peep. 
uh, along with that, if you guys like Guardia 3 or Code Vein, be sure to check me out. Okay, all right. And you, Ollie? Well, yeah, thank you guys for having me on once again. I think this is the second time, but yeah, I had a lot of fun. And be sure to check out my YouTube channel and be sure to follow me on Twitter and also check out my Persona 3 Orpheus only video. How's that doing, by the way? I didn't get the chance to watch it all. It's, I will, I mean, you mean like in terms of performance? Yeah. Well, right. I mean, it's just over three days old and last I checked it was 57,000 views. Oh, nice. Hey. I, I, I was thinking, I was like, that's got to do a good, good, good. One of them was me. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Yeah, I think, yeah, for my next challenge run, it's probably going to be Devil Survivor. No few. Devil Survivor. But yeah, no just, mm. but yeah, just be sure to check out my channel. I got to leave that up because I got to watch the rest of that. I was I was fascinated by that. All righty. And that is, I believe, everybody. This is the HBMP Podcast, episode 38, going out. And, of course, you can find me. It's just Shadow Elite, of course, my channel. We're going to be playing Nocturne a lot more as of late, but we're going to be doing that on, t- on Twitch. All right. Thanks for that. Thanks for um being coming out, guys. And uh, we out of here. Peace. Peace. Bye-bye.